Right, anyway then, welcome back, people. Stop hello, hello. Stop screaming in my ears! So, uh, <laughs> we're all back for another session. I'm going to get the aftermath of the battle. And don't ba -dum. You managed to beat the sniper and his entire thing. In I don't know. I, I think you pretty much bounced right after they took him down. You didn't get to see what loot he had. And yeah, I got nothing. Surrounding that. I got nothing out of it. Yeah. So, basically, once he got took down, everyone obviously scrambled up his body. Uh, Doom went about and looted all the different bandits and whatnot and took all of their scimitars, like crossbows and leather uh, armor. So you've got about 20 buddy. sets of each of them in the back of yeah, your buddy. cart right now. So, oh, nice, demon. That's a lot. Money, money, money. The guy himself <laughs> hey, hey, possessed... Hey, hey. Never do that again. The guy <laughs> himself doing? possessed, I believe it was three magical items. Uh, one being a plus one longbow. Uh, one being the uh, braces of archery, which you basically knew, which uh, they basically mean you can get <coughs> proficiency with short and longbows if you don't already have it, and you get plus two to your damage with them. So I believe at this point, red has decided to put them on. I'm the holding on. Other those. thing with the boots of Elven King, they make it so you have advantage on stealth that relies on sound. Oh, shit. So I believe also red is also wearing those right now. What the fuck? Red she just, just took everything. <clears throat> basically, I mean, I yeah. Dude owing us money and takes everything? That's bullshit. <laughs> Basically, hey, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't say I should take all of them. They yeah, told me to, to take it. Wait, Aaron's so. credit, we looked at those and we're like... Would it have been yeah, better for Arcanus to take the boots? I thought like it was So you don't get a you disadvantage on your fucking... He, he it's only you that has disadvantage. disadvantage. You're the only one with I was, disadvantage. I was what? thinking you should take those boots, but... Yeah, give me the boots. No. Yeah. Yeah, let's See? get rid of that. So, to note, the boots do not require a chin mint, but the Sorry, uh, but that, do. you were not thinking that Inmo should take the boots. You suggested yes, I did. that I you did. suggested the demon take the boots, and then no. Jinji was like, "No, he can't wear them. He's already wearing boots." Correct. Why and we had a whole conversation about using boots. them as socks. Demon already didn't get disadvantage. I was literally saying to get rid of the disadvantage. There's a couple of dynamics you can take. If you give them to Demon, he'll be slightly better at stealth because he's not proficient in stealth right now. No, so there's we, the we, angle. We, there's we, also the angle that Inmo is really bad at stealth because of disadvantage. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Does Demon have boots? Yes, he, he has a bit of boots, yeah. in the spring. I'm... Are those better for him than these ones? That is up no? to yes. Demon to decide. Yes, of course. <clears throat> I mean, my boots allow me to maintain 30 feet movement speed no matter how much I'm carrying, along with being able to jump and... Awesome, okay. Now, question for Ginger if I take his boots, do I have 30? <laughs> yes, 30 you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> That's exactly how those boots work. And I've been laughing yeah, at the fact he even has them ever since he got them. And the fact that you're yeah. walking there at 25 foot struggling, I do you have a notice every session? He has pointed that out for Demon, a while. You little weasel, what is there a problem? <laughs> 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 you weasel, he didn't know, he didn't know. <laughs> Give him. Take the stealth. <laughs> what do you mean? I <laughs> take the freaking stealth. Actually, you know, okay, is, listen, do you anything. wanna? Okay, so you always keep turning movement speed even if you carry anyone, right? Yeah. yeah. He can literally carry you anywhere you want. He can carry me, actually. It yeah, means that so even it, as long as Demon doesn't go over his, uh, there's a certain limiter. Obviously, once you go to a certain point, you just can't move. Basically, mm -hmm. there's, it's not like Demon can just carry whatever he wants. So there's a certain point to eventually, like, this will start physically harming Demon. <laughs> Uh, so you know, there there is that, but basically it means okay. even if he's encumbered, so he's going slightly right, over listen, his uh, carry listen, weight, he demon. can still move at thirty feet. Which boots do you want? The, the, I mean, I don't care. I can give you these boots if you want to move. Thing 30 is, feet red, short. red's wearing the boots. Over. I'm wearing. Oh, red, the boots. You're wearing the boots. Yeah, but it's I mean, not I, attunement, I so you can just take them no, off. I can. I no, can just give them. Yeah, no, they're not attunement. You don't require attunement to them. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's. Demon's boots like, do require giving attunement. these boots to you makes sense because you have disadvantage in stealth. Giving them to demon makes less sense because I'm doing the stealthy th stuff. Well, well I typically like when boots, you go so stealthy, you do bring get demon with you. That's also true. Then that, he couldn't fail on me. The, the only Actually, part where it makes sense boots. for demon is because it goes with you and he's not proficient at it. But yeah, but also the thing is, anyway. if, if demon has the stealth boots and he like decides to dash, he has advantage on stealth dashing, which is good. What? When you when we're when we're going like around people, I think last time when we went to fight the the girl that we have in our van right now, with the van. Dave, you were fighting someone that was a werewolf, had really high perception. So like, yes, you know. he, he even saw me. So you know, actually, he shouldn't have seen me, but he did. You mean he shouldn't have seen you? Yeah, because you thought I had a roll lower than I did. Well, no, to be fair, I was ignoring the dogs intentionally because he wasn't considering the wolves as a thing. Uh, 
but... Okay, that, that's different, maybe. There then, was the whole but... thing of basically spotted one of you using passive perception, and then he basically went looking mm-hmm. to see if there were more. Mm. But I don't know. you're basically versing someone that had really good perception because he had natural advantage because he had these keen hearing and smelling. I've I've been playing a, a like Gloomstalker Ranger in Baldur's Gate on my like current build. Oh, what coincidence? That's what you just fought last session. <laughs> yeah, I I respect into that after feeling the fucking wrath of that thing. <laughs> um, what was a what was a um yeah a a Ranger Druid. The um, I was the Beastmaster Ranger and oh, okay. Circle the Moon Druid. Mm-hmm. Going like full animal based thing. Certainly and then idea. you threw that fucking Gloomstalker Ranger at us that was kicking the shit. Yeah, yeah, Sirk's, Sirk's seen my character. Mm. Um, yeah, no, so basically that guy was mostly Ranger with a couple shit, of levels Parker in so strong now. Uh, Rogue? Rogue. In Rogue, yeah. yeah. He basically had two levels I, in Rogue. I had a so hunch. Dash and hate as a I, he, yeah, he was I, doing I had a hunch attacks. he did that. Yeah. I had a hunch he did that, so it's I, why I his did sneak attack the wasn't same for my character. Though. Yeah, fair enough. Sorry, it was three levels ago, because he also had the thief uh, subclass. Assassin? That's how he was able to claim. Oh, I've got, oh. I've got assassin. I oh, know, you know, he had he thief because assassin. thief let him claim up and down hills. Yeah, I, uh. I, I thought he had assassin. Was, no. That was like the way my brain was. That would, like, that would have been a fun dynamic if he just got an auto crit on using the first shot of the round. Oh, yeah, I have. I have uh, felt the power of that oh. in our Bald Escape playthrough. Oh, yeah. We were we were in Moonrise, and then my character oh, had just oh. been knocked out the entire fight. Every time I got back up, straight knocked back down. The moment I got up and survived a turn, so I had my actions, the fight was over. I killed freaking everyone. Seems about that. It was, it's such an insanely powerful build. Well, you know, Assassin only works at the very start of battle, typically, is the idea of it. I don't know if it's different. Yeah, balls. but it may the, be different the Gloomstalker balls. Ranger specifically. You know, but uh, we, so Demon was hard countering the Gloomstalker aspect because he knew what he was dealing with. Yeah, mm-hmm. hard counter. Hence why Demon <laughs> decided I need to carry the torch with me everywhere. <laughs> and then Demon being so quick, he could keep up with the guy even if uh, the guy tried to get away. Also, yeah. Emo, there was one other thing on the guy. Uh, there was a note basically specifying the idea of why he was on this road and why he was basically doing all the stuff he was doing. Mm. With it being written in Draconic, and it basically being that he was maybe targeting trade caravans. But he was to go out of his way to target a very specific one, as a dragon tra- uh, trading. What did he target that then? No, he was to go out of his way to target that one specifically, but it was to disrupt trade on the, he on was the supposed general. to. Yeah, he was supposed to target everybody, probably so that it didn't seem targeted. Mm. Um, You brought that note with you, right, Demon? Right, yeah, there you go. I guess. Okay, good. Because um, I feel like that's going to be the sort of thing that we're going to want to show. Alright, they make your boots. Better. So while you're also having that debate, there was also the thing of burying Ahmed, the, uh, the horse. Yeah, we did that. So he Rest got buried. The boy. He got a uh, stone with his name written on it. He got stoned? Oh, he got a stone. He got, he got uh, a <laughs> he, stone. He, yes, in a way. Yeah, we were yes, vivified him briefly just to like get him blazed. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Nice. Send him nice. off uh, and then we in killed the best him. way possible. Then there was the transport aspect to this. So uh, the party actually did suggest the idea of having the direwolf ripped up. Thing is, though, it's not built for a direwolf to take it. So you'd oh, have that's to... that's why I'm here. Yeah, so you'd have to write it. So we decided, but you can't really do that because you weren't here. So we decided another way of just getting through it tonight is Lexi can use her spell slots to summon horses. Oh, that's what... Yeah, that works. It only works temporarily, so this only works for the... Because you've only got, only got part of the day's travel left. Mm. But... She could do it. Uh, basically, and she because use she her... didn't participate in the fight itself, she still has the spell slots. Well, she yeah. she did use some of her magic at the end to help use. For the eagles, yeah. 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 Eagles. Basically, though, she'll good. use the uh, conjure animal spell and summon eight horses. Oh yeah, brother. All right, before we do that, I'm switching boots with demons. <laughs> no, but you so okay. hell bit well, on this shit, dog. <laughs> we can say then that basically you travel for the night, or you travel <laughs> yeah. till night time. You can camp at night. And you can just say what you want to debate about. Come to camp, but basically, Lexi will use her spell slots to get you through that day. It'll be up to you to decide how you're going to do the I last have another question. Travel. I still yeah. have temporary hit points. Uh, oh, those would be yeah. gone. Uh, longer, yeah, they, they... Probably gone. So, yeah, we could just say that they set on a long rest. That's probably the easiest way to go about it. But uh, ask me in character. I can't just yet, give them to you. They're what? Yeah. Ask me for the boots and character. Right. Roleplay, yeah, man. Roleplay this. Yeah, we're roleplay. Yeah, yeah. Roleplay. Chill. Um, I'll do it later because. Well, okay. Did I see them pick up the boots? 
You were there. I mean, like you, you, you were standing at, there as everyone jumped down and so started just there, like, tearing you, apart you, the body. You, so ADHD out of my mind, just staring at it. <laughs> you saw me wearing the new boots, and then maybe you looked at Demon's boots. Technically, you would have been there. Technically, you also know that Demon has a pair of magic boots. You just didn't really know what it did. All right. To a full extent. All right, all right, everybody. I was thinking about this ever since we defeated the archer. Okay. Hello. Yeah. We're listening. Hi. We're listening. We're listening. We're talking. I wave at them. Okay. We so... wave back. I, I wave back. <laughs> <laughs> I nod. I am kind of jealous. Uh, Red got the boots that I wanted. I take over the boots. <laughs> Just like what do that. you want, Red's boots? You do you want these boots? I ask Bro, you. I don't know if demons boots are magical, so yeah, I'll just take those boots. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want, the, I want those boots. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Or I, 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 I've seen that you've been caught. struggling running, my friend. Uh, these boots on my feet <laughs> help me run better if you need assistance. They help you run better? <laughs> yes. No way. Or roll, please. On, on point. <laughs> I mean, I can already run pretty fast, so like they really don't help me too, too much, but are you they sure? might help you. Yes. No, I cannot take them off of you. I only want to dread boots. But yeah, sure, here okay, you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot take them. Take some anyway. Switch it around. <laughs> I'll take both boots. I'll put one one boot of the raid and one boot of demon. And... Uh, that, that hey, if only that, if only it worked that way. That would be. Oh, you get half the benefit. <laughs> getting both. <laughs> you get thirty-seven and a half, uh, twenty-seven and a half movement speed. Let's go. All right. And half advantage. <laughs> so, in that case, you would sit for an hour to attune to the new bits of striding and springing. Mm -hmm. And so what the bits do... Uh, I have do to we... sit for an hour? Well, you have to have yeah, them on for an hour. Yeah. Attunement. For attunement. They have to be right. on you for like an hour. For Wait, them to can I in. give these boots to Ryu then? Red? Yeah, of course. Are you okay, sure? Fine. You don't yeah, need him? I'm already good at stuff. Uh, if he can help me out with, with sneaking, that's perfect. Sure, so I got what? What is he called? They are the bits of elven kind. They give you whoa, 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 what do? stealth checks with uh, based on sound. Yeah, so basically it doesn't work if the person obviously is laying a set on you, but if you're trying to obviously sneak around people in a forest area, which you have done numerous times, then yeah, you would get advantage in those cases. Also, speaking I of know. advantage, Arcanus, are you aware of the fact you have advantage in all perception-based checks? He does? <coughs> yeah. Um, yes. You specified that it was only... My passive perception. No, no, and no, not no, no. Checks. That's part, the reason why you have the passive perception is because is because you have advantage on perception checks all the time. I didn't know it was all perception checks. No. I'm pretty sure I said it right when you got the shields, <laughs> and I've just uh, forgot. To, I forgot to re-mention it. Again. Yeah, you you, you <laughs> specified a, a couple of times that it's only my passive perception. Well, no, no, I mentioned the fact you get the passive perception buff. I ne I never said you don't get advantage or anything like that. I just forgot about it because you've never you've never said oh. do I get advantage on it. <laughs> never ever thought about it, but I remembered. Oh. So, so your eyes are I'm, better than mine. I'm. I was quite Probably. confident that I, that I had brought it up, but I. I think I, I may have just dreamed that. <laughs> I may have just dreamed that. I have very vivid. The reason why you have that plus five, you get very plus five in any ability check if dreams. you have advantage permanently, which means Imil, for example, has plus five in numerous checks passively, because he has like mm -hmm. six advantages because of his runes. Oops. So yeah, while well, you've got that shield on, you have oh. advantage on initiative, and you have advantage on all perception checks. It just also means plus five to your know. passive perception, so you might need to make the check. But yeah. Anyway, so uh, you just make it to night time. You can settle down for mm -hmm. the evening. Everyone's feeling the uh, the after effects, the battle, the uh. loss of Amit. I'm tuning yeah. the boots to my feet. Oh, no. You're tuning the boots, which after an hour attunement, your a base speed drop to thirty. <gasps> That's crazy. On top of that, Demon, you got the. Do you write down the rest of the benefits you get with them? Um, you, you want to tell? You want to tell R? Oh, the, the oh yeah. Send down. it in chat. Or just send it in chat. I was also saying you want to actually can tell R, like it? if you explain to R what the boots do. Oh yeah, well, well they let you jump it. good. Yes. They let me jump. They let no, no, no. They, they let you jump, jump really good. Like they're, they're yeah, like really good. good. I like you're not gonna lie. I'm confused. Here, here, here. I can just actually just grab the description. <laughs> yeah, you have it. I what? thought you would just read it out. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You can jump three times your normal distance. Man. Um, yeah, yes. What is that's... my normal? I never jumped. Yeah, Try it. But... So you're, you're the one time you were not there for the jump puzzle that everyone had to go through. Oh, that yeah, is no. true. That was I was jumping like a motherfucker, dude. 
<laughs> yeah, you you were doing some messed up. Yeah, stuff. so basically, wearing those boots, Demon had up, a twenty up, up. foot vertical jump. Oh yeah. shit! So basically, how jump works? <clears> uh, <throat> for distance <clears throat> over, it's whatever your strength score is. For okay. height, it is three plus your strength modifier. If you, Whoa, that's with a ten, what the that's fuck? with a ten foot run up though. If you don't do a ten foot run up, it's half. So basically, your strength is what sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. So that means your jump distance is forty eight feet. And for height, your jump distance would be 6 foot normally, now it's 18 foot. What the fuck? To bear in mind, though, <laughs> you do still take fall damage. So, oh, okay. unlike, <laughs> uh, uh, unlike Ryu, who could just ignore fall damage. Oh, yeah, brother. What if I jump and I grow big? I mean, it doesn't really change it, it just means you're big, but you still have the same jump distances. Well, you, you know, you said that I usually grow big where I came from. I came from the floor. So do I grow down or do I grow up? I mean, you can't grow big mid mid flight because see, when you go up, you automatically, as part of D and D's mechanics, fall back down unless you're ready to do something mid jump. Exactly. Not yeah. ready to get to go big and then jump. Ooh. Whoa! How high can I jump when I'm big? The, the same. It's just you would reach hey. five foot higher because your height is five foot higher, or ten foot oh, higher, okay. whatever it is. Like, you build a reach higher up, but like feet going height, it'd be the exact same distance. Okay. Hey, now when you dash, you move <laughs> 60 feet. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. That is. <laughs> he needed it so much. The number of times that five foot distance is caught R. <laughs> Actually. But okay. Is there any other things people want to do in their last evening on the road? Last evening? As everyone's uh... recovering from this battle, I guess, looking over all the stuff they're going Recovering, through. dying. I, will, I'm, I'm <laughs> I, want, to... I want to try to teach Nogle again. I'm oh, going boy. to have a talk to the the uh, to Ryu. Ryu, um, mm -hmm. I know you've been training Gobby a lot recently, but could I uh, could I lend him for a bit? I want to talk about uh, t talk with him about something. Me, maybe. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Just to steal your so skin. you know, I'm thinking this that Gabi isn't really fit to be a a true monk. This. Fuck? He can, he keeps I'm trying to steal your student. And he never he's never getting in. Nah, I'm trying to do something different. But he's, he's not trying to multi class him into either he, 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 he's, he's, into, a, into a ranger. It, it feels like if it, it feels like he's <coughs> not the same kind of monk you are. Maybe you should let him focus on doing some range stuff. And I thought, what if we could get him to be our sniper? I got this I, I got do. these I got the the bracelet. Uh, today I got that bracelet and that longbow, but I was thinking it's great on me. But we have literally somebody who is only attacking from from distance and not even uh, not even ever attacking if anything gets close. So, how, what do you say? Could I uh, could I try and poke his mind into into looking into some roguery? Knock yourself out. Awesome. Roguery. Roguery is crazy. That's, that's <laughs> some roguery stuff. Some rogue life stuff. He's awesome. Gonna try and steal your student. Wow. Nah. I mean, it's he fine. To... You know, I, I tried he to train him the way I was trained, but maybe I'm just a little, you know, like a hard headed kind of guy. Look, imagine Gobby. Imagine <laughs> Gobby at level six. He's four now, but he'll have um, extra attack and he would have a. Plus one longbow with extra attacks from the uh, from the bracelet, and he would have sneak attack. That would be beautiful on him. He would do great damage. I guess in your assume it has one level in rogue. It, yeah, I'm just yeah. Good. That that'd be assuming it's, it's one it's more level a, in it's just a level in rogue. It's just a simple dip. I, he shouldn't go too far. Yeah, that's up to you. He should probably get to level two. Doesn't definitely level two rogue, so he can yeah, at least get cunning two, action. Uh, cunning action. Yeah. Cunning action dash, cunning action hide, cunning action disengage. He'd love cunning action disengage. He has <laughs> no, 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 no. Goblin's already, already have that. He's, oh, yeah, that is he's true. already goblin. Goblin. literally stealthing all the time. I was thinking about that as like last time the guy was hiding again. He sucks at it, but he was hiding again. And it's like he hides more than I do. And yeah, did the, I, I, I do I do remember. I just forgot. Yeah, like, I want to go. Goblins have already got little things like they can already yeah, disengage the bonus disengage. action because yeah. they're small. Okay. Okay. Where is Gobby sitting? Well, before that, Arcanus, you're gonna have a go at Nuggle uh, here. 
Oh boy. Yes. What are you trying to do, the Nuggle, then? Uh, still trying to teach it to count the same way I was doing with the cards. <laughs> My God, man. With, again, with the offer on the table of if she does really well, she gets a potion of Hill Giant Strength. <laughs> okay, roll your charisma check for one <laughs> to try and convince her. Yeah, and then the subtle spell guidance. Fuck. Um, That's fine. As I said, you yeah, still well, have mana magic. So I've got one sorcery point. Okay, yes, you're fine. I have no there spell slots, one sorcery point. Yeah, because I was about and to say, you, you used a up. lot of your stuff in that battle earlier. <laughs> Arcanus has decision, next though. to nothing left. Plus, he's drained through your potion supply. Yeah, I used every. Sure did. Gotta buy more potions. Yay, gold. Not having that. Awesome. I still have one potion of mine. <laughs> I have one potion of healing. One. And then my necklace is gonna restock after this long rest, so that's cool. Yeah, it's basically just a free potion so long as you buy alcohol every time you go places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got, the, I've got the poison potion. Does that count as <laughs> <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, but I think technically, yeah. It's, but it's it more damage than healing. <laughs> My God, man. Okay, uh, Nuggle basically just shrugs, but she's got, she'll go along with it. Come on, Nuggle. Read. She's not enthusiastic. I believe in, in her. ABC. Look. All right. So you're going to try and so teach her. Uh, but, but you're basically going off the same message before, which we, I basically just said, since you're going off it that way, you can roll a charisma check for it instead, instead of rolling an intelligence Wait. check. Ooh. Because you're using a much more wordy-based thing rather than smarts for this. Plus it is basic intelligence stuff, which Nuggle is not great at. Oh. Oh. She doesn't appear Look, to get If we can it. get that intelligence score to a zero... Burby Gucci, all right? You really think her ability <laughs> score improvements are going into that intelligence? Get that intelligence to a zero. No, 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 not her not her level. I mean, like, if we could just naturally build up her intelligence to get that to a fucking zero, it would be good. That'll take a while. She's very bad at learning. Hell and she yeah. has a barbarian stubbornness to not learn. Hell It's yeah. very dumb, but I'm trying my best. Because, like, Gobby's at the same. Gobby's also got a negative intelligence. Yeah, but not Gobby is easier. Just so no one is tries he? to teach Gobby certain things. No, Fine, we can we can force <laughs> Gobby to learn things. Yeah, that that is easier. Like if I fail, if if I fail to persuasion, I can just have Demon be like, "Gobby, train." It's like, oh, okay. Uh, but I think I think I got this. Gobby is. Uh, I think Gobby would be willing to to stop or pause training as a monk for a while. Well, as a bit for your Arcanus, you see that obviously Nuggle was not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> she had one good stray her, like, that first day. I give her a patient smile and I say, it's okay, we can try again next time. You see her groan a bit. She's realizing you're being very persistent about this. <laughs> Alright, so, and R, are you doing anything or are you just chilling with your boots? I'm looking at my shiny new boots and I'm yeah, shining. Yeah, makes sense. You're welcome. Oh, so there is the whole thing of use hunting for food, do. which, um, yeah, people have to go do that. We'll just have Arcanus yes. do create food and water. You wish. I, I freaking <laughs> can't. <laughs> I One, it can't. Two, it doesn't spell slots even if it could. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You swear. Hey, don't, don't worry. Next time, next time I level up as a cleric, I can take it. <laughs> yeah, you can, you, at that point, you can sink it in whenever you want. So, you know. Yeah. Sitting pretty good. Yo. Okay. Red, so what are you going to say to Gobby? level up, we'll have it back, guys. Okay. Not long I'm now. going to sit... I'm going to first sit next to Gobby. And take out... Gobby's just one. lying there floored. Wait, floored. does Gobby have a subclass? Huh? Yeah, he does. He just does can't Gobby? use it. Because he's oh. terrible at key. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Basically, he <laughs> has a subclass, but he can only use it when he's high. Ah. Uh. That's essentially how his entire character works in general. Beautiful. Also, this guy's Gobby also still has 500 copper pieces on him because someone gave him 500 copper pieces. <laughs> God damn. <Hey. laughs> That's Who did that? That's five gold? That? That's, that's, that's crazy. Who um, would ever do that? Err, fecker. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I don't think he's an ascendant dragon monk. He's just a, just he a feeling. He's definitely not an Ascended Dragon, similar to what Demon is, no. He's shown that he's got the Way of Mercy ability. 
that's what Demon was aiming towards, trying to teach him. It's just that yeah. he can't actually do it. Because <laughs> I was taught by a Mercy Monk. I'm not a Mercy Monk, but... Oh. All about that's... the key manipulation, then just, nah, just Gobby can't do it properly. <laughs> I can manipulate key. Just oh right, fine. he's got he's got the the hand of harm, of course. Yeah, the he hand does, of harm. He's also got a hand of healing. He just never uses it because he never wow. thinks about helping anyone when he's high. I think he he uh, used it yeah. in the very like first fight when he was against us. Uh, no, oh, no, no, he, uh, he, didn't, at that point. he didn't have I've, anything. Uh, description, I've, I've, I've seen him uh, use hand of it, healing yeah. at some point, maybe, but I don't remember when. I don't know if he actually did because I I feel like he. He's very aggressive. Unless you when pressed you it by accident at some point. Madeline. I know he's just kind of yeah, hard I remember, plan anyway. I remember seeing it in this like right list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, well, you have Gobby sitting there chilling, trying to go over the whole big battle thing. Okay. Paranoid hey, as ever. I sent it in Discord, my friend. Uh, I have Begin. a question for you. Yeah. What do you What did you think about last battle that we had? It was terrifying. <laughs> hey, one of those arrows could have killed me. <coughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I feel you. They hit me. They did a lot of damage. Do you see this? I uh, hold on the bow. It, yeah. Well, that's the bow the, the the sniper used. Oh. He was. Do you know how far away he was? I mean, it was pretty far. Yeah. It took a. It took us almost a minute to get to him. He was, oh, he was hundreds of yeah. <laughs> he was he was hundreds he was hundreds of feet away, and he was still hitting us. That's how good longbows are. Gobby, I see you've been struggling with the training you ha you've been having with with uh, with Ryu, your monk training. Yeah, I'm not very good at it. I know I'm a disappointment. <laughs> why are you? Hey, why are hey, you doing hey. this to him? <laughs> hey, that's not true. It just might not be the best wow. training for you. Look, you've been, you've been uh, hiding a lot. I hide too. I want to. I want to think that your strengths might lie lie somewhere else. Look, you've been you've been using the bow a lot. Yeah, but I keep missing and with it. How about how about I train you? You've been hiding, and you've been using the bow. Both things at which I'm better better in than you. Maybe. <laughs> hey, it, it is. I get where you're coming <laughs> from, but the way you said that is crazy. <laughs> That's not. Yeah, hey, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Maybe I can help you out. Ego you boosted himself, do... dude. I'm stronger. <laughs> I'm faster. <laughs> I'm you... better. You dress better. I Brian, look better. Bryce trying to help the other guy and he'll fucking ego boost himself. Gabi, and you know what? If you can make it work, if you can impress me by improve by the improve <laughs> by the improvements you make, I will um, give you a gift. I think Arcana said this to Nuggle earlier. Nah. What do you have to give? You owe me money. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, you're busy right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll give you these two objects, which will make it so that you will never have to get close into close quarters ever again. This, this bow lets us attack from 500 feet away. Is it 500 or 600? That's if you've it's got. Well, that's if it's a disadvantage yeah. that far away, but yes. Yeah, but he yeah, because do he doesn't have sharpshooter. Nope. He would still do it. But this, this bow lets you shoot from very far away, instead of the other bows, which are way closer in range. And right, this but even when that guy mm -hmm. shot you a lot, everyone yeah. suddenly went running at him because everyone else was dead. He was the last person we could touch. I don't know about that. I feel he like was, I draw he a lot of attention was. with something like that. Hey, that's all. That's all on you. I'm saying, you could go See, back to training with with. I assume my character's busy at the moment, so mm -hmm. it's a good thing my character can't overhear this because I know from experience that if you're the one in the back being a threat, you get he rushed and beat. He, sh he should. If, be they, if the opponents are intelligent enough to think about it, yes. Yeah, I I have been beat down so many times for being the 
the dude yeah. in the back. Yeah, I mean, you're also the, the healer, though. Yeah, Genji, th that is, I don't know. you're a supporter. I've been We targeting. literally couldn't just leave suck. the battlefield because we were... There were other people around us. We we couldn't go and attack that guy all alone. Demon tried and got wrecked. He did, yeah. Uh, just remember, I'm still the MVP in that fight. All right, calm down. Yeah, you are, but still. <laughs> just, just saying that, although that logic makes sense for supporters, for a in a scenario where everyone is fighting one on one, having someone shooting from the from the back that does not necessarily put them in a very vulnerable in a that does not necessarily put them in a vulnerable position, he, and he's already vulnerable. Okay, I think this way he will be more capable of contributing to the team. Oh, you're talking to them, not Gobby anymore. Okay. Oh, I thought no, 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 no. I thought we were talking to Gobby there and like talking like that. I'm like, oh, he's talking to the group. Oh. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm not you gotta keep that. in no. character. We're talking to Gobby. I'm sorry. Okay, roll a persuasion check. See how he feels about this, or how well oh you're God. getting across that you're selling your idea. Here. This much. <laughs> of course. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm up. It's it's the end of the day. I have four, oh, four pulls out left. pulls out Ocarina, starts playing, <laughs> playing track, gives Bardic inspiration to Gobby for his role. Like, <laughs> actually, I can do. Well, that. if it's a persuasion, I, I don't think. I mean, I don't think. I can do that, that if he's know. trying. Well, to... No, Gobby doesn't need to really risk the really. It's just more of a he has to hit a certain Yo. point to convince Gobby it's a good idea. Yeah. Yo, In this case, Gobby sat there thinking a bit, and he's like, "It would be nice to not have to get near all the horrible things you guys fight." Hey, it seems also, somewhat so now you're staying at distance. Also, you were scared. When we got close, we couldn't find them at all. Even even Arcanus and I, who have great perception, we had a lot of trouble finding him. He kept hiding. I feel like it... Hey, shush. I feel like he'd say very perceptive. Like, we're very perceptive, not we have great perception. See, that's a noble I mean, you're that... speaking right there, Arcanus. <laughs> <laughs> you and your fancy do, talk. Do, Red do, is not do, rem do remember, Red is a noble. I'm not a noble. I don't know what you're on about. That's such you've crazy got, talk. You've got that rich. You've got that rich upbringing background where you're thinking. Uh oh. Preposterous. Uh oh. <laughs> Arcanus, uh, some character development um, reveal. What no, no. That? Arcanus. It's already been well known. Backstory Arcanus reveal. is well, yeah. well taught, well educated. He's basically got the, no the noble type background where he is from a, a well off family. You don't know how well off or anything, but you know he's well enough that he's clearly well educated. He's well clearly above us in terms of the upper echelon, all right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but so clearly you're still broke. superior. You're still a broke boy. Shut up. <laughs> Technically, Red should I, also I not think be. I might currently be the richest in the party. Probably are. That wouldn't surprise me. I'm definitely. I am definitely not. That's yeah, all. Yeah, no, you're not. Red. Red's sitting on negative bitch. money. Yo, yeah. <laughs> He, Red's like multiple thousands of gold in debt. What multiple thousands? That's that's insane. <laughs> that's crazy. It's crazy. Um, yeah. Here we are. I am <laughs> fifteen hundred in debt. <laughs> Not multiple that's thousands. A lot of Not debt. multiple thousands. Just you know more than most <laughs> of you have ever had in one time. You know. Hey, yo, the average wage fine. of a worker in this world is like one gold for a day of work. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm you not You are multiple years soon. in debt of a regular worker's wage. Yeah, most yeah but I'm not a regular worker, am I? Though. It's like you've taken out a mortgage on a house. And then But, so. like, it's it was just for a fucking glove. <laughs> hey, That's yo. a valuable to stop it to adventures, damn it. They'll pay our full house worth. It's, it's a first <laughs> edition glove, though. Come on. To be fair, Invo <laughs> Shield was, like, the price of a small house, so... Was it? I don't fucking was. Yeah, it was like 800 golds. Oh, yeah, I remember I helped you pay for it. Yeah, fuck. Yo, I, 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 I paid I'm, you I'm, back. Why did I know you, you help did. him, man? Because I'm a because nice guy. Read, oh, it has all this money. You're, you're a nice guy. Going, apparently. You're like, I don't need shit because I'm a monk, so it's like... Uh, <laughs> he could have bought certain things. He used to say not to bother. I mean, you know? in all fairness, Soak, even in the real world, like, like, if we had access to these magical items that could alter reality... I think they would be slightly more expensive than a house. Probably. Probably. Yeah. It's also just the adventure lifestyle, though, because they get paid more because they're risking their lives. The economy in D&D is kind of bonkers. Plus, sure they is, literally but it on steal DM. money from the things they kill, so. <laughs> <laughs> or loot it, as you will. Okay. Uh, in this case, though, Red has a conversation with Gobby. Gobby seems okay with the idea of 
at some point training to so he doesn't have to get in close. So you've got an idea past him at the very least. And Ryu mm-hmm. seems cool if he's stealing his student, so... Yay! Yeah, that. But in that case, yes, unless there's any other bits, the monastery in the big city. Everyone can do their hunting. survival roles, so we can do the hunting. I'm, and you can I'm, digging, I'm taking Gobby with me hunting. Hey, you can do that if you want. Uh, hey, that could, that could be how we, I train him. Hey, well, typically, oh, have someone with you to give you advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go with him. Typically, <laughs> no, typ- typically, <laughs> yeah. it's do- typically, each of you have the dogs with you. All right, that is uh, true. You have the dogs. So you two have the dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, give you advantage for hunting. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. And in Red's case, normally either Gobby or Nugga would go along with you. We bought yeah, have. I'll starved, take Gobby. Man. I can. I can show him how to fucking better. star for the night. It's over. Luckily, you get advantage because you have dogs are good at hunting. <laughs> but yeah, Nugga's proficient right in survival. Is Gobby proficient? Oh my god, also proficient in survival. Yeah, suck, so dude, we suck it's, ass. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Look at that. Between all of I you, though. Yeah, yeah, luckily, wait, Red, you, yeah, Red's proficient in survival as well, so yeah, you're fine. Also, I added stuff, so. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's the reason why three of you are going, though, is because between the three of you, you might actually got food for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. With you the big know. thing, I mean, you have a little bit less to care about because, you know, the horse is gone, but, you know, the, the dire will still there. Rest peace to the boy! Mm-hmm. With the dire will still being there, that still eats the weight of, like, eight people, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> 30 uh, moments before. Okay, and it's good that you reminded me that, though. The Bardic Inspiration. Next time you try to teach uh, Nuggle, I'll give her Inspiration as well. That would mean you have to be there for the teaching. I mean, yeah. I, to help which inspire usually her. these things happen, like, Bardic. alongside each other. Uh, uh, no, I don't need to... Like, I can literally give her the Inspiration and leave. It's 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, it just, means, it just means yeah, that Arcanist needs to tell you, hey, I'm doing this, can you help Nuggle yeah. <laughs> before Basically. they start? But then there's also the fact that not him teaching Nuggle takes more than 10 minutes. Like, he sat with Nuggle for a little bit trying to work on this, is the idea. That's why it's, like, your nighttime activity. Yeah, it's it's the same reason yeah. I can't use, like, guidance on those roles specifically. I mean, you're, already, you're already using it on yourself to teach her. Yeah, I, I use it on myself for the original it's... persuasion check yeah. that's, like, mm-hmm. the... I'm talking for yeah. 30 no, I, seconds. I'll, I'll, let, so I'll let you do it on yourself yeah. because you are literally... Ca- you can cast it on yourself in that sense and... Try and persuade her and build but them. But I don't use it on the actual charisma checks because of like we assume uh... the teaching is taking a bunch of time. All right. Is there any other things people want to do? You just get your food. You just recover for the evening. Is everyone good? That's it. Yeah, okay. I'm good. Yep. In that case, you just get your long rest. Despite there not being an alarm. No. No, the guy. I didn't think I had to specify that I was setting up. The okay, alarm. you are setting an alarm. I think about yeah. You yeah, do the, have ritual cast. The first time you, so you we can do it. the first yeah the first time we did the thing with nuggle you yeah, yeah, specified yeah, yeah. that i had set the alarm up first and then no i was just thinking yeah. you had no spell slots there but wait no you have ritual cast though you can just cast it for free yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. you don't need spell yeah, slots for that. casting piece shit yeah. i can't remember if you get that because you're a cleric or you get it because you're a sorcerer but i know sorcerers it, definitely um, get it i don't remember cleric, cleric. Cleric. don't they have both have it i think cleric 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 Either way, they both have it, yeah. yeah. So in that case, Arcanist is. Uh, um, you, cover it. So yeah, you still get your alarm. So either way, yeah, either I, way I it's a piece of I definitely have it from Cleric because Detect Magic can be cast as a ritual spell. Well, mm-hmm. okay. In mm-hmm. that case, you just wake up the following day. Everything is good. Rested. You are fully rested. You get your full heal. Well, How are you feeling with well, that 30 well, feet movement speed, my guy? I feel I can run faster today, Ryu. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. I can jump high. Look at this. I jump. Uh, what? Like far or high? High. Okay. Are you taking a ten foot run up so you get the full distance? Yes. Okay. I'm going to take fall damage. In that case, yeah, you you jump eighteen foot in the air. Blood and I take one point of bludgeoning damage as you tweak hey, yo. your ankle a little bit as you land. No. Oh, oh we're good. See that, you? I did see that. It looked a little painful in the landing there, though. I'm used to pain. <laughs> well, okay. I, did, I get painted most of the time. What are you doing for traveling? Because you're still a good half a day away from the sea. We are traveling with the cart. How, though? Uh, don't you need Wait. to fix the cart? Do I need to fix the cart? For the wolf. No, I thought we were getting it on a horse. No, that was for the uh for so the her meantime. spell only lasts an hour each yeah. go, and she might still need spell slots. Oh, so I guess we're right. fucking huffing it with my hands. 
All right, well, I have a... No, 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 we have... I, <laughs> I, I purposely made the attic a little space so we can put planks in there, and I'm pretty sure I did put planks in there. You probably after have planks, I, sure. If, yeah, if not, after, it, you are in a forest. If, yeah, exactly. if not, no, 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 like but I, I know for a fact we have planks up there because I specifically said I'm putting planks in. I even have it... You, I, even I, I'm pretty sure I have it work written. on the car, so... Yes. Yeah. In case something goes wrong. So I know we have planks up there, so I'm just gonna take the planks... Take the direwolf, put him in front, and I'm gonna. <laughs> work, direwolf work looks confused. Him. He's going to work around it. Yep. Yeah. Have Lexi talk to him real quick. T tell him what's happening. Can, can can she talk to the direwolf? Can't can't Red do that now? I can do that. Lexi can do that yeah. too. Red, Red, come. No, you have hey. virtual casting, don't you? Yeah. Press All right. Oh, okay. Lexi. Yeah, Bart's get it. Can mm -hmm. Can you make me talk to the animal, or can you only uh, talk to the animal? I don't think I can. I can translate if you want. Sure. Okay. Talk to the Daryl right now. Okay. So you, f first, you have to wait ten minutes. Yeah. So by right now, you either have to use a spell slot minutes, or red has to take ten minutes. So yeah, I'm not doing that. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, while ten minutes is passing, I'm just gonna sit the the, the Dar wolf in front of the car and I'm gonna start working. Hey okay. dog. Or hey doggo. What is this call? A name called again? Big He's dog. Big dog. Uh, hey big dog. So he just looks down Look at, at you. The... His head moves yeah. slightly to the side as he realizes you're speaking his language. <coughs> I think you're a bit confused, aren't you? Can I hear what uh, he's saying or no? You can hear, you can what, hear what Red's saying. Do I understand it? You can understand Red. Yeah, you cannot understand talking. Direwolf, though. Are you talking to him now? Yeah, I am talking to him. All right, tell him <sighs> that we are going to make him drag the card for a short amount of time. Okay, uh, we need to ask a favor of you. No, no, no. Just tell him. So... Uh, There's no favors in this. He's gonna carry the card. <laughs> There's my, no favors. my guy. <laughs> okay. Um, you're going to have to carry the cart for us today. Is, is that alright by you? I don't get it. Well, the horse that. What did was he say? What did the, he say? He doesn't get it. The horse that was pulling the cart. Got time to uh, wait a sec. Alright, wait. I got this. I stand in front of the direwolf. I paid him. Oh. I pointed him. You! I pointed a card. This! I tied a rope around him. Pull! I guess roll animal handling. <laughs> With my edge! Just how you get your idea across. Where the fuck is animal handling? Under eight. Mm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. It seems, to, it seems to somewhat click in what you want, what you want him to do. That said, you do see the horse, uh, Blue, panicking slightly because the diary was standing right next to him. What do you mean? have been in the same party for a while. He should be in the party for a while, but never like this. <laughs> <laughs> never like this. All right, I pet a horse, I pet direwolf, and I continue working. Sorry, just had a phone call. Uh, okay. So, Red would realize so, uh, that. Uh, so, Arjun rolled animal handling to try and convince the dog. Just did, it, did it work? It, see, yeah, the dog seems to somewhat get what, what the intention here is. That said, though, Blue the Horse is in a bit of a panic state right now because the dire wolf has been strapped up right next to him. Also, and I'm, uh... I'm petting the horse and the dire wolf. So. <laughs> Just stood in between the two. Like, I'm, telling fine, Blue... fine. I'm telling Blue that he has nothing to worry about. He'll be fine. <laughs> hey, yeah, sure, I've got nothing to worry about. Sure, sure. Hey, <laughs> he's he's been around free for... A yeah, long time. Has normally, it what's happening? What's happening? Not like this. <laughs> the dial doesn't normally sit directly next to the horses. Mm -hmm. Ask. Okay. Wait. Louis is a bit scared. Of Louis. what? Of the of big dog? Yeah. Why? Ask him why. <laughs> yeah. Ask him why. He's a whole fucking predator. Why do you think? Ask him. Why are you scared? I'm. Uh, uh, he just look. He just kind of looks towards the Daryl. <laughs> Wait, ask him. Daryl just understand. looks towards him. Yeah, why are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, I don't know. I will, like, I will tap on the Daryl's head, like so gently. It's like, don't, don't scare him. He's scaring him. <laughs> I imagine this is the one time where Big Dog actually has the look in his picture on his Probably. face. Probably. Probably the, the one time he's probably like, you are oh, saying yeah. up beside like I'm a meal to him. So, uh -huh. listen, 
Tell big dog, horse is off the table. If he eats horse, then he's you gonna starve him. to death because horses are poisonous. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> he's tell him he's gonna be non fertile. It's gonna go sterile. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, tell him, right now. Go fast. Before he's the go, horse. Go, yeah, convi it's up, it's up to you, me. Fast, convince before me. Yeah, it's up to you when you say to the horse, it can't convince, make you. Tr try and convince, convince you. He can't actually me. make you. Like, even if he rolls yeah, the best no, no. persuasion, he can't actually make <laughs> Red do anything. That's up to yeah, the player. You're not, you're not convincing me with that. Damn. You uh, suck at deceiving people. I'll like, tell Doggo. Uh, Doggo, stop yeah, antagonizing. You have an advantage on Do Stop scaring him. And uh, Bluey, he won't attack you if he does anything. Um, well, I'll protect you. And I'll... I have what? You have advantage Actually, on deception just... checks. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, you're don't. No, I don't. Say, I'm saying oh, uh, R does. Why R do? does. R is better line. I think an intimidation is another one. Just not I, persuasion. Yeah. Oh, but it... <laughs> cool stuff. Yeah, it's so the dial just looks. Of course, oh, I'm not going to eat him. What do you say? I just say that's better than I pet the dog. Good. I yeah. work. <coughs> we just get like multiple dire wolves to pull our cards now. That's what that's how we roll. So, I mean, uh, all right, one R is... has to make a uh a check using your what what tools is it you've got again you're pursuing with? Uh what? I have uh I think it's carpenters. I don't even see I don't even Doing... see my it's, tools. It's down, it's down below your uh, your modifiers and that. It's, it's a little bit below there. Tools? Yeah. Yeah, there should you be should one. I think you get carpenters, tools. don't you? Yeah, but they're not... Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Here yeah. You go. yeah, I have carpenter tools. Yeah, so I basically, you'd be well. rolling a check with that for how well you can do strapping this thing together. What kind of check? Strength? Dexterity? Does Click it not come with already, I think? Click no, on I can pick. Okay, um, b -b 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 it? it's a query, so I can pick any of the... You can do this. Saving on well, no, your display. one makes, your one's easy because it's always dexterity, whereas uh, this type of work uh, can be various different things, because depending on whether it's more strength-based, dexterity-based, or in this case, you could say it's wisdom-based, if you want. Okay. Yeah, if it says attribute query, it means it's based on the scenario. I think it would either be strength or wisdom, so take your pick. Yeah, let's go with wisdom, never been wiser than today. Never then mind. You might have been. <laughs> Alright, kill. Cool. So you strap this thing to the dire wolf. I'll help. Kill. Cool. Actually, are you doing good? Need any help? I'm oh, no, I think I'm doing good. Yeah, everything okay. seems fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Makes now, sense. What you will acknowledge also is that the dire wolf is slower than the horses when they take off at full speed. Meaning uh, the dire wolf helping pull means Blue will have to slow down, meaning mm. uh, the things will take a bit longer traveling wise. That's. We don't have an option. But, yeah. Why don't. Bro, we have a second horse here. Yeah, you yeah, you're crazy. Good luck with that. Gonna pull the goddamn good card. luck with that. Wait. Right. Look at, can I you try to convince Faith to pull the card? You think I can convince her? Yeah, yeah red of all people. <laughs> Did she definitely have Lexi talk to her? She's a non-factor. Hey, yo, I could... <laughs> I could nah, nah, we, we, we already that. know Faith hates women. I could oh, antagonize sure. Faith into maybe doing it. Maybe. Just, you want to have this guy to play that Faith not good enough. I don't have to be nice to Faith. I can just say that she's useless and that she wouldn't ever help help people, you know? Wow. Maybe that will help some do something. That would definitely not do something. She would Red, just are you approaching <laughs> Faith? Hell no. Cool. I don't. Uh, Red does not like Faith. <laughs> I'd like to imagine Jinji was like getting his dice out, getting ready to roll to see if Faith just like... anything in process there. It's just how much damage will she do? That's all. So apparently talking to face off yeah. the table. So in this case, you have set up the dire wolf. You've already set up the, f the thing at this point anyway. So, mm -hmm. yeah, right, he's so. ready to take off then. So, yeah, uh, I'm sure this will go great. You continuing travel like normal? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So you just begin moving, I'm and about an hour or so passes at this reduced straight. Uh, Inmo, you're the one driving, right? Give it rolls a d20. Cool. So everything seems fine. Yeah, you've done a good job. The dial's staying stable. Everything's staying fine. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, nice. Cool. Now another hour passes. Well, it's an RD20. Oh, <laughs> boy. I see. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. So, so around uh, no. this time, 
where the dire wolf is running with all his might. It seems to be getting to him a little bit because he's not used to pulling a cart, but he's doing his best. At which point you hear a snap as you hear something wooden coming loose. And all of a sudden the part the dire wolf's pulling literally tears off from the cart. Oh, awesome. shit. This is also throwing the cart as now the wolves, uh, the, the wolves ran to the side away. The horse is also ran to the side. And the, the cart is very sharply moved in a direction. I want oh. you to roll me another d20. <laughs> oh. Come on. 15. Okay. Thankfully, the, the horse managed to move in a way it doesn't tip the cart, but it was close for a second. <laughs> Bro, I swear to <laughs> God. We have too much shit in Everyone the Everyone definitely cart. felt the cart rock there as this happened. As, at that this horse point, just Tokyo drifted the cart. <laughs> at this point, everyone is uh, realized something's went wrong. You've definitely heard the, uh, the dire wolf getting free. As the dire oh, wolf shit. stops, with literally the straps still around him, a chunk of wood hanging off him. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Uh, we're we're going to have to fix the cart now. This shit is broken, bro. Okay, this time mind. you need some help, I think. Uh, I I, I don't think I... Uh, yeah, I need help. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, so who's who's, who's doing what here? Well, I'm going to fix it again. I have okay. eggs in my arms. I can't do anything. So you're, you're holding All right, things. Alright, I'll, I'll go help. My hands are full. You can either give them the help action or you can give them guidance. I'll give him the help action. Okay. Help action. In that case, if Arcane is assisting you this time, you'll have advantage by attempting to repair this and attack the dark right. So roll another so, one so of your wiz decks. Wisdom didn't work last time. This one, we're brute forcing it. Wait, this okay. One. Putting a bit so, of manual gonna... labor in there. Putting a he's bit gonna of roll hard a, day's work. He's going to roll a one and a three. <laughs> Don't say that bullshit, dude. <laughs> cool. In speeds, you wouldn't have expected expected he manages to very swiftly put everything back together <laughs> he like puts this it together time, like he's a lego character in a video game this time you are fairly certain you've got it locked down all right guys this time i made sure it's sturdy and the nerdy <laughs> all right My and bad. with that you will be able to make the rest of the travel there it takes you a bit longer because the diary will also want to attach the cart but you do make it the yeah. rest of the way there but we, got, we just gotta get three more dire wolves. We can have a fucking four dire wolves pull our cart. Be easy. Why not wyverns? Why not just horses? What? They're better at it. That's I will true. never, I will never <laughs> make my wyvern if the eggs survive. I will never make my wyvern pull the. If the cart. eggs survive, to be fair, in the... bro. <laughs> what the yes, fuck? if the eggs survive, this is like the the hardest kind of animal that we've had to deal with so far. Uh, de demon yeah, is an egg daddy. Base it's the other ones, simply. I am an egg daddy. It'd be egg very daddy. unfortunate yeah. if they imprint on me when they hatch. So, <laughs> what you're talking about with when you get to the Fine. walls of the anvil is, yeah, giant walls, uh, along with a big old gate. What kind of walls? What kind of walls big are you talking Big old stone walls. Bigger and far more impressive than what happens around Mercurial. For sure. Cool. Is there like a... I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, continue. You're kidding. You're kidding. You didn't say anything. There's no tight defenses, no demon. But yeah, so <laughs> it, is, it did look like bigger, uh, possibly bare sculptured scrupt walls. Like they, they, I mean, a wall's a wall to some degree, but people like R may realize these walls may be a little bit better than other ones. But on that, it's, it's they've got a big set of walls and a big old gate. So yeah, you're, you're going into walls? what you now know is an actual proper place that's defended. But yeah, so as you're approaching, though, you are met with not. There's not so much any lines or anything, because as you're getting there, it's getting to kind of more the end of the day. Like, the sun's starting to make its, its way down. You definitely entered into the later half of the day. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, you're met with a couple of guards. With one who was sitting down, standing up, and he puts his hand out to try and halt you as you're travelling. Which, case okay, so you would be the first one to get there, since you are on face. Alright. I would like... A pull up next to him, like I'm pulling into a Macca's drive through, and then I just kind of stop and wait for him to speak. Hello there. Uh, I'm guessing you's on you. Uh, yes, we are. We were told by Lady Everburn to come and meet her in this city once we were finished with our business down in Mercurio. Just raises an eyebrow at you. That's quite the tale. I, no, I figured you were new because I hadn't seen you before because and he looks towards your cart being pulled by a wolf. I feel like I'd recognize mm -hmm. that. <laughs> yeah, we're usually pretty recognizable. 
I, I I promise he's docile. If if he attacks anybody in the city, I take full responsibility for his actions. Ah, that's just where the guards at the other gate to worry about. Uh, so oh, right. <laughs> the gate just gets shot. <laughs> it's like, night, like so uh, you saw just in time to get in. Um, Nice. If you want to head into inner parts of the city, just follow the road straight up. I imagine you'll have no problem getting in if you are here to see, as you said, Lady Everbun. Lady uh, of the Bum? My yeah, boy Lady really Everbun. said not my Lady problem. Everbun. Oh, yeah, no, he, he does not <laughs> seem to care. He's just quite I'll happy. He's, a, here you go. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, in we go. So, as you go in... This guy's slacking on his job. Love it. There is definitely a... There is an area here for stables, as you go in. It isn't too far off. But what well, you'd notice is that the area you're going into first does not look impressive, as what the outside makes it. Much like the guards, seems rather unimpressive, as things look quite shambly. The road you're currently walking on, which is a straight path onto what looks like another wall, uh, this road looks decent. It looks like it's been somewhat maintained. Going off that road, though, into any other parts... Yeah is pretty much going into dirt tracks. And so going into Basting well, Say, got it. it. It basically looks more like the slummier part you've entered into. Where the, some, like, there's a key, like, if you like peer off into this, you might see a key building with some stone built into it, most of everything's almost made of wood. You notice there's a bit of a market going on, but it's just stalls. And it's a big area. This seems like a big place. It's, I think Let in the gates you can fully see just how big this place is. The fucking slums. <laughs> it does not look impressive, this area, but as he said, he, he pointed to where you used to go to the slums. next gate. So it's up to you where you continue that or where you stop here. Uh, I, can we get I another think we horse? Continue. Oh, well, it's late. It's night time. Never mind. Wait, it's not wait, night no. yet. It's just evening. So, wait, like, you know, we, we still we're got in a village time. right now. Or where, where, we're in a city. Village? A city. They're a big place. So there's a lot of people. Is, is it the city we were going to or is it the yeah, city we have arrived? Oh, we arrived? Bro, I was out of yeah. this guy. Oh, shit. You should be paying attention at this point. You're finally part, here. Friend. You were like a day and a half away. You're finally here. Holy shit, we've arrived. <laughs> yeah, but we're in like the slum section right now, and we need to get we're in the through slum the slum section. section the, yeah, essentially, the areas I've walked into walls. seems like the far less impressive section of the city. Well, we have to get to like, we have a lot of shit. We have to sell it, so we got to get to the guild. From what you can see here, there is an open market. You see a lot of wooden-based buildings. And I guess, actually, everyone can make a perception check to see how much interesting stuff you might see in this area. Oh, but Arcanus has advantage. If, anyone is, if anyone's looking I got around. A 20. I'm inside the cart right now. Red got a 20. I mean, if you want to peek out the back, you can. <laughs> Hiya! Since you know you're in a new place, I imagine we're you're all so very receptive. <laughs> we're all shit. very observant. Everyone in the party <laughs> has... Uh, proficiency in perception. <laughs> I know this. Yep. I know everyone's fairly good at it. Okay, uh, so everyone would know is, yeah, so the place doesn't look uh, super impressive. Uh, you do know a few buildings that are slightly bigger and possibly well more structures, so some of them might Are we still you in as... our cart? You're still in your cart. Right. You're, going up, you're going up a single road that is heading towards uh, the next wall. Okay. This is okay, just kind okay, of peering so... off into the surrounding areas mm. and see what you can see. Uh, you know there's a couple of other buildings that you could think maybe are taverns. I'd say Arcanus, one thing that might catch your eye is you see one uh, partially stone-based building that you think might be a church of some sort. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you see plenty of stalls and things and areas for stalls, along with plenty of little, uh, like, basically flung-together housing. Uh, you would notice there's a river that runs out into out of town that seems to come down from the areas are going to. So... There's that to go over, but yeah, like, you, don't, you don't actually cross over that. It's like you went off to the side. But yeah, it, it doesn't seem like there's a whole bunch going on. Like there might be some stuff in here, but it's not. There's not like it's not an impressive area by any stretch. You certainly don't notice anything that looks like a guild. Yeah, we may return here, but for now we need to we need to move to like the higher up part of the city because that's that's where the guild's going to be. That's where Lady Everburn's going to be. That's where all the high end merchants are going to be. That's where we need to be. Well, you are leading the way on faith. Aye, aye. Yeah, you are yeah, leading. You're leading us. Keep going. Guide. Continuing up the stony path, uh, you're eventually hit with... It, it slightly starts to incline, as the city is kind of somewhat building upwards. Uh, and you're hit it's by... Really what you got, at their, it's a it's a fair walk. Like it's a, You know, this is a fairly large thing. Like you can see wall to wall, but it is a straight road. But it's a fairly long road. To put it simply. 
But um, yeah, then you're hip to the second wall where you see the guards are more on point here and more on alert and they are keeping a bigger perimeter from where the uh, gate is. At which point a uh, right. guard will stop you. Wait right there. Stay your business. We're here to see Lady Everburn. He just kind of stays kind of stone-faced looking at you. You're serious? Yeah. She no, I also had to mention the name. As as she requested that as soon as we're finished in Mercurio, we come up and assist her with duties up here. And who are you all? We're the Moonlit Fang. We're adventurers who are working with her to assist with odd and end jobs that she wants done. I am Are You Working? Actually, that name you still look might... the type. You still look like the any points towards the, the kind of slum there is. Like, sorts from here. Mm-hmm. Right, you may pass. Mm-hmm. Bear in mind, though, uh, we have no tolerance for anyone stepping out of line here. Be your best behavior. No tolerance for shenanigans. At which okay. point, he, they will let you into the second area, which now you will notice this area is much nicer. All the roads are stone. Look, just about every building's made of stone. There's lots of, what little <coughs> possibly, shops, taverns, various different things. This is a much nicer area. It's like a completely different place compared to where you just came out of. <laughs> it really is just our thing to say. So, yeah. you enter into the uh, the middle region, because what you then know is, is further ahead, there is another gate. Oh. And it's another the wall. Region. The, the palace? The good old... The... No, we're just oh, in the high class the section of normal citizens. Then there's the nobles in that other gate. Isn't that awesome? I, yeah. That could be an assumption. Yeah, I, yeah. All right, everyone who's watching the stream, this is when you leave and go watch solo leveling. Goodbye. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, did the new solo leveling episode drop? <laughs> I mean, well, like a couple of minutes, yeah. I haven't even started watching that. I'll be you watching know. it after I finish here. <laughs> I mean, I want to binge it. That's why. Makes sense. Well, I've watch. I've read the entirety of the manga, so I don't care about the same. Movie. I'll be watching same. it with my brother because my brother's never seen it or heard. My brother's never read anything about it, so what a loser! I gotta what watch his reaction. My brother refuses to read manga. Maybe like, I read die, manga but... before it, but it was the first manhwa I'd ever read. I refuse to read like One Piece, Bleach, and stuff like that. But like solo leveling. Dope. I mean, right, a slight anyhow. difference with that is I started reading it while the show was still ongoing. Like, in Bleach's case, like, Maybe Bleach just stop the dead. Elements and I want to see oh, what else like happened. <laughs> so, I mean, I had yeah. so many chaps to read. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, you have the four elements that the row pick, Frozen, and you know it. Alright. So, <laughs> what are you gonna do? We should sell. Um, I, I think we should find, like, proper stables, a tavern for the night, and some shops to sell stuff because it's getting pretty late i agree yeah yes <laughs> for Probably sells the, first. <laughs> but no, the party's no. just so slow and actually reacting to things they don't want any responsibility or to voice any, well any he's thoughts. kind of only talking to me because i'm the only one outside he, he's really uh, the only one outside uh, to talk I mean, to it, like i'm just call, like, I'm it's, the car's the room, not so. soundproof like you can, you can <laughs> hear know, from the outside like, <laughs> If he's talking quietly like that, bro, the cart is kind of loud, you know? It's like... <laughs> well, you can pull I'm the like, I'm glad he's making the cart sounds. If he needs to. Okay. In that hey, case, everyone give us a round of perception checks again. We'll see what he's noticed. Uh, just... Okay. Um, oh, my uh, God. Looking around. In this area. Um, oh, my God. Not, not good, you know? What the hell are you wow. doing? Wow, 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 Emo, wow. Wow, Emo. <laughs> You're such a piece of shit, Emo. 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 Look at uh-huh. Wow, Emo. So Red hey, doesn't see nothing. Red's still him, looking back at the previous game. <laughs> He's just too busy dealing with face You got a natural one and it's 11? What yeah. the flying fuck is that? That perception is yes. wild. That's yes, so there is a in a fact a new episode out now. That's exactly what we were talking about and why we brought up solo leveling. Yeah. That's literally what I said. Time to... Le- okay, yeah, uh, exactly. Ryu and That's what I said, exactly. Yeah, you just would exactly. notice uh, there is a, there's, there's, there's a stable area. Uh, not too nice. far off the path. So you can take the things here. Stable, you, you mean like I can see that it was built well, or is it stable yes, for exactly. animals? Both. Oh my goodness. You can tell that it's both built well, much better than the sh- the shambles you saw through the first gate. But also, yes, you can apparently keep horses and stuff here because they appear to have some. Sick. They have some horses. 
But you don't know if that one's being kept or whether they're for sale. But All right, yes. uh, let's let's not leave our let's stuff there yet. Let's yeah, we can't leave our car. stuff there. We gotta go to a shop first. Yeah, we gotta go to a shop. So if there's so, a road, yeah. There has yeah. To so be what you would know is that this place has a lot of roads, and majority of them are big enough to carry uh, to, for okay. carts and wagons and stuff yeah. to go through. So is there any, are there any people like that we can that I can like yell at? There are still numerous people it? wandering about. It's still like it's a later part time of day, but there's still plenty of people wandering about. This is a city. This is quite. It's a busy area. There are hundreds to thousands of people wandering around. Love the way you you ask. Excuse me, I'm trying to sell things. Can you can you guide me, please? I have a lot of valuable (laughs) stuff. All right, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Okay, The first person I see is. Hey, excuse me. Uh. Hello. Sure. You just see some guy wearing what? He's got a top, no sleeves. Just looks over towards you. You with the top, no sleeve. Then you're looking at me, hey, you! Come here! <laughs> you looking at me? I don't think he's gonna approach with a fucking Daryl from the cart, dude. He does, he does very cautiously approach, but like, I, he's kind of sliding, to, like, sidewards away from the Daryl wolf. Okay, I just stopped the cart. Yeah. Hey, so man. the guy, the guy comes up somewhat on our blue's side. Hey, man. That, uh, I have hello? a question. How are you? I mean, I, I just got off work. Okay, I was just gonna so head I to the tavern. I need help with like what? That, I was going. Yeah, so I need help. <laughs> you, to... you, you sound like what? you're going to swindle him. Go ahead. Nothing. Uh, do you want something? Yeah, I need. <laughs> what? R. What, what happened? Did no, he I'm just talking. You? <laughs> no, I'm talking over you. Are you? You? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not. He's at least sitting here waiting for you to say something now. Like, he's just yeah, looking so at I, you. Listen, listen. I'm sorry about that. My brain shut down. Listen. So, we need to find like a place, maybe that sells some magical items, or like maybe a uh, a weaponsmith shop. You know, of any shops like that. Hey, that's. Plenty of shops around for that kind of thing. Well, like, do you do you know like? Uh... If you're looking for weapons and that, there's uh, he points towards uh, down the street. If you head down, a uh, basically we'll start giving you directions. Uh, basically right. going down the street and you're trying to point out which right. store he's talking about. Okay. Which, uh, well, where the heck? I had notes for some of this stuff. I think there's signage on like the stores, so signage. we look in the direction. Signage. <laughs> well, no, it, it's signage. signage. No, no, some of the stores, <laughs> some of the stores in this place are. That is a word, signs. yes. Signage. I know, but just signage. <laughs> There's signage. Where on earth did I? Yeah, the stores have signs on them. No, 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 no. The stores have signage. signage. Don't worry about it yeah, exactly. that's literal. They mean the exact same thing. No, I know, no, no. but it's but you so... and your. Oh yeah, I gotta be proper. Let me let me Sign- use my. I wasn't even Sign- trying to be proper. That was just what I was saying. There's signage. But yeah. So for weapons, it basically will give you directions towards one particular store. They recommends. It's apparently it's well, got the name of Monster Bane. Okay. Well, or thank Monsters you. Bane. If uh, if we get what scammed, about the our direwolf will find us. He didn't bank, ask him about that. Are they good to be a help? And he wanders off. God. Really, the, the bit is open. You can speak to R if you want. <laughs> Uh, no, no, we just what? Uh, we can ask the store clerk when we get What's there. What's up for you? What do you want? Don't worry about it. What do you want to do? Just go to the store! I heard you speaking, what do you want? Go to the fucking store right I, now. Come I'm swinging the cart until you tell me. Oh my god, you could have asked him where the guild hall was, so we can drop these two off. Is there someone else walking by? There's literally <laughs> hundreds of people. Hey, you! <laughs> but six people turn and look at you. You, 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 with the head, top hat, come here. A really fancy, elegant man with like a cane wearing a tuxedo and a top hat. So the guy's wearing a crap top hat, sure. Hey, Ryu has a question for you. Who do you ask him? And he sees the big man stick his head out of the card. Uh, where's the guild hall here? Are you blind? Yes. Yes. He just he's a blind. See the Can't big, you tell he's a blind man? Building. Try that one. A wonderful biggest off. building. Oh, 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 nice, nice. Half nice. thing about what a waste of time that was. Sorry! Ardal was gonna eat you! Okay. Anyway. We, we go <laughs> so, to the guild. Oh, uh, okay. Are you we, going to the, the guild or are you going towards wh- the shop? Which is, okay, what do you so, want? Shop. 
is the, the which is before? Guild, uh, no, no, no. Which which is prior? You're like, not entirely first? sure because you don't know where the shop is. You were given directions. Whereas okay, the big but building, the guy just pointed. The yeah, big building the is just... going down a couple of roads to get around. You don't know how hectic it's going to be getting through those roads. So you're not sure yet. All right, let's just we go and we'll and see. Things that we should drop off at the guild. Like I, let's go I don't think. Yeah, we yeah. Make... Let's go. Let's Maybe go. Maybe find Mary will pop yeah. over. Like, uh, yeah, I, I kind of need to go. Um, yeah. Where are you going? No way. So, if we could go to the guild so I can mark that I've gotten here safely. Alright. Hiya! I mean, woof! At which point you continue travelling yep, yep. down one of the roads. <laughs> We're not flying, Arcanus, don't do it! And so what you will notice is that this place is, this place is quite busy. There are other people in other carts. Uh, there are points where you have to stop and wait. For stuff to get finished wow. before people Are there people away. looking at the dire wolf or is no one looking? There's definitely people I mean, looking at the dire wolf, but people are basically right, I'm waving that it's strapped I'm waving at everyone that's looking okay. at the dire wolf. Like people think it's unusual, but people don't seem at least like to think it's threatening because of the way it's tied up in that. Because mm -hmm. being used to sense. carry a car around or to tow a car around, like <laughs> people have made assumptions at this point about uh, that dire wolf. Okay. But yeah. He's so basically, there's traffic in this town, so you, you're not gonna have an easy time getting around cart to cart, anyway. Nice. But yeah, <coughs> so after about a good hour or so of travel, uh, you will make it to what looks like the largest building. And from this building, you would notice, yeah, there does seem to be a stream of what look like adventuring types going backwards and forwards. Excellent. Also to know, just for comparison's sake, this building is easily about five times the size of the one in... Wow. Uh, wow, they're just better, huh? Imperial. It's built different. Bigger, better, stronger. It is much bigger. It looks somewhat... It looks more like a fortress than, like, a, just a building. I'll watch the carts! <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I can't go. I can't go. I guess that's fine. Okay, wait, we need to... I guess there's our wolf as well here. Which point, like, so I'll, giant, say, I'll stay here, I'll, I'll stay I'll stay here as well. Who, who is you? Lexi. Lexi. Sure, you can stay, but I'm staying as well. If as you I don't think your services eyes. will be required in the building, that makes sense. I mean, you can go in, I can stay, because I don't want I'm no one needs to see our eggs eyes. in the cart, you know? I'm oh, chilling. To, uh, yeah, actually, if you can stay and warm his eggs, I'll go. Yep. Which point, Doggo just looks over like, isn't that the place where we, like, make money? Yes. Yes. You want to come? So don't we have to like get things from there to like make more money? Yes. Yes. So that goes but we also one. need to stay here because we have a lot of shit in our fucking carriage. Nuggles so. leaving. Nuggles. 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 Okay. Wait! I'm gonna throw you! Just <laughs> gives you a look. Everyone no, just go in and get quests. Yeah, We're we just chilling. go inside. It's fine. Okay, so are you're choosing to stay outside then? Are sitting outside? No, no, I'm going, I'm going in. I'm going in okay. because... Okay, uh... so it's uh, Lexi, Gobby, and the Daryl are staying outside. Uh, Mary mean... and Maximum are also going in. Um, they well pretty much bid you a project. good day and thank you for, like, uh, thank you for taking through what turned out to be quite the travel. Uh, from here, I just need to say that I'm here and that the, the quest is complete and I can be gone. Uh, also to note, before she leaves, did you give her the spell book or not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she can have it, whatever. <laughs> And also, thank you for this spell, but I can't really use anything from it right now, but I'm sure it'll be of great use later down the line. But yeah, so, Mary and Max... Red, you're the one, yeah, you're the one who gave her the spell book. If there's anyone to say anything here, that's you. I, I nod to her and smile. <laughs> well, You're welcome. Maxim and Mary are pretty happy to just leave at this point, and that pretty much will mark their quest as finished. Nice. They're gone. Let me remove them Ooh. off of the... They're off the boards. I don't think about them anymore. Unless you meet them again. Nice. Right, hey, so going, going into guilds, assuming you're all just walking in. Uh, yep. Everyone besides Ryu. Ryu is staying in the cart. Ryu, are you staying behind? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's got the eggs. Sure. He's, uh, got these eggs. They're secret, the eggs. secret items. I yes. mean, they're secret in this town at the very least. They're not secret anywhere else. She's a bean, but sure. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. <laughs> so, anyway, so uh, walking in, one, yeah, so bigger. Basically, everything's bigger than in Markerio, essentially. Oh, that's what she said. It's basically just a more <laughs> open hall. Everything looks fancy. Everything looks organized. There are more desks. There are more mm -hmm. boards for uh, quests and such. And yeah, right. so 
there also seems to be some areas that are kind of like uh not like it, I... it basically got barriers up to basically like not so much barriers like physical barriers but like is in like rope and things to show like don't oh. go this way I will have grabbed the stuff that we had in the chest in the cart that's like for the mission the delivery stuff the yeah delivery yeah the layers missions. and whatnot and yeah I I I'd have brought them in with me okay um and then I would in that case you've got a bill I would look for what looks like a okay that's that's easy if there's a line yeah. I go you to see, the line you see and there are lines the to line. multiple desks yeah. At what which is point, this? At which what point, is basically, you just have a moment to kind of look at everything here. It, it's it's a similar feeling to Markirio. It, it's just mm -hmm. bigger, and there's more people. I want to go to one of the the lines and ask what this line is for. If there's multiple lines, they might be for this different stuff. Which point, random adventure. It's it's mm -hmm. a reception like for quests. You knew here. Yep. I'm, uh, I'm doing tryouts today. No, I'm I'm a an adventurer from a different town, but I I was just confused that there's multiple lines. Oh, you're from a wee girl. Oh, okay. And you just sort of snickers a bit and turns back around. <laughs> uh, I don't want to accept that slander. You're looking wow. at me. You just you just showing yourself out there. Wow, wow. <laughs> Get yourself away in that one. <coughs> but yeah, hey, so uh, you I have about a fifteen minute wait. If you're just going to stand and wait in line. And you'll get up to the yeah. desk. Uh, hello, how can I help you? You all appear new. Um, yes, we're adventurers from Markirio. Two things. One, we have these letters that we were sent to deliver from Markirio. And then I'll, like, right. put them on the table. Which point she takes and starts giving a quick glance through. Ah, uh, okay, this is, this is quite normal. They're normally... Some group, another will come up with a whole bunch of letters. I will quickly get this signed off and your gold through in a moment. And the other thing you wanted, as she's still looking um, through the various papers and that, figuring out what's what. This is also part of the first thing. We had a second quest. We delivered two people, Mary and Max. Delivered people. Um, <laughs> we deliver people. I don't, it. Would, we they <laughs> would, we, would they have already? Would we? Would they have already? Like, Maybe. signs that they're here. They pretty much didn't have to really speak to us so much for sex. They just had to have a quick... They mm. pretty much just had to say, yeah, we're, we're basically, we're here in Bilm. Yeah, alright. They, they had well, to go quite I'll... through the same process as you lot did, apparently. I'll show them, like, the, the paper for that quest as well. and. Right, give it here. Be like, yeah, we, we delivered Mary and Maxim as well. I, I handed over. Right, uh, your guild and your party name. Um, the guild, we're part of the Hunter's Guild from Markirio. Our party name, we're the Moonlit Fang. Right. It's spelled T H E D R. She's definitely ignoring him. <laughs> and she's literally just continuing our, our work as she's talking to her. <laughs> right. Uh, well, welcome to the Einvel. Uh, this here is the Titan's impressed. Guild. Ooh. One of the I major what? Titan's Guild. Yes. Sounds cool. Oh, because there's walls and all. Oh, look at you. Well, you're I so rich. I don't know original. what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but right. Uh, well, this is quite normal. Uh, group bringing up uh, quests like this. Well, uh, enjoy your stay. Uh, and she points um, over towards the far end board. The, the beginner quest board is over there if you do want to take any quests while you're here. Uh, is there a more advanced quest board than the beginner quest board? Or actually, maybe first I should ask. What do you guys consider beginner? Um, well, given the quest you just you completed, quest? and given where you are from... We've killed young dragons and cleared out necromancer encampments in village in villages, wiped out like, goblin armies, wyvern tamed nests. Tamed direwolves. We've, yeah, tamed like, like, stop, many stop, stop, animals stop. If, if every I listen to every party, they went through a spiel of all the things they've accomplished... So they say. What would you con What would you consider the right board to go to for those sorts of experience? You need to go to the beginners board because Why? you're not from this guild, and thus we do not know what level you're at. And it'd be very bad for us to give you a quest that you'll end up dead on. So, since you're from Markirio, one of the smaller is, guilds, and in there they have no issue taking anyone in of any sorts. 
it makes sense that you would take a quest appropriate for the level around there. Things like prove somehow. Can't we do? We can't we do a test to uh, prove our? Well, there I've, are I've... initiation based tests which I want to sign us builds. up. There isn't one for an hour, two months. Oh. Shit! We do one every three months, so you can prove what rank you should be. I'm then gonna ask. Aside is from there that, there a, are very few other requirement. Is there a certain requirement of a number of quests from a board that you must complete before you can move up to a, the next rank of quests? That would be when we do the reassignments, same time as when we take in new guild members and test everyone on their capabilities. Okay. But again, since you are from um, a lower down area and from a lower down guild, it makes sense that you would take the beginner yes, quests. I, Where the most dangerous thing you might come across are maybe some goblins and wolves. I, I, I say completely to understand. Arcanus, oh, I say to Arcanus, yeah. it's fine. We'll just take quests from Lady yeah. Everborn. I, I, I completely understand. That's it's, it's all protocol. I get it. My second question was, can we have a map of the oh. city? Do you guys supply those here? I'm sure there's plenty <laughs> of merchants out there that will sell maps quite happily. No. Oh. Could you direct us to like a general store or something so that we could go and pick up a map? There are no shortage of general stores. If you dance around enough, you'll I'm sure you'll find one. She's annoying. Okay, she she does know. not seem interested in helping you. <laughs> yeah, she's so annoying. All right, I slam my fist on the table. Listen up, you little weasel. Um... Have a good day. To point okay. out, by the way, because of the height of this desk and you being a dwarf, you are literally about eye level with the desk. She... Beautiful. So it, does, it well... doesn't look nearly as intimidating when you do it. <laughs> but I'm still doing it. And she's yeah. also still counting out your money for your quest, so... Oh, shit. Never mind. Scratch, scratch. <laughs> do you want your, your money or not? Yes. Yes, I thought you might. I see you took on quite a number of quests. This is quite normal for this uh, type of thing from Mercurial. Normally there are... Many letters and such needing to be brought up here. Normally some beginner group will make their trip up and deliver them all. But yes. Uh, unfortunately, oh yes, I haven't heard of your guild before. And I have not don't know any of your accomplishments. And word from Arcurio is sketchy at best. Giving well, like to what's the lady we need to find right now? Exaggerate themselves a little bit. Burn. Burn. But right. Do you know what Lady Everburn is? Hmm? And why could you Lady. possibly want to talk to one of the nobles? Oh, she's our because, employer. Yeah, she, yeah. We, we work alongside her and do quests that she can't find other people to do. Well, I've certainly never heard of you all. But assuming that is true, I'm sure you'll have no problem getting fine. through we the higher games. We're so, itch it into yeah, your mind. We are the dragon. <laughs> the I, I put my finger <laughs> over his lips and just... <laughs> I, I say... With with my finger like over his lips behind him, I say or behind me, I say I'm so sorry about him. He doesn't know when to shut up. Um, what do you mean? Just yeah, I do. Oh, look, I'm rough, quiet right now. Rough what do you directions. Mean? I don't get it. Like, come on, man. You'd be heading for the higher <laughs> area through the last gate. Thank you. That's that's all we needed to know. Have a if fantastic day. If you have day. In contact with her, then I'm sure you'll have no problem getting in. Otherwise, you'll be told where to go. Yes, that, okay, that thank you for your... Simple. At which point, as she's still carrying up, uh, you just get a bit of a R, you get a hand on your shoulder, a big hand. Oh. What's holding up the line uh. here? <laughs> Why are you touching me? As you turn around <laughs> to what looks like a ginormous tiger man. Oh, you're a tiger? I'll, I'll turn and look at the dude and I'll say, I'm sorry, we're just waiting to collect that money from a couple of yeah, quests. Fucking hands him a ration. I'm going she's to take it. Money. <laughs> we'll be we'll be out of our, out of your way momentarily. As as he he seems to have a glance you over, at which point you would note he's wearing sunglasses indoors. Why are you blind? <laughs> <laughs> I don't recognize you, cool? you all. Well, take off your glasses, yes, we we're... look different with the glasses on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you must be out. We're... You little girl, are you looking to sign up? Here. You're a bit early for that. Sign um, up. no, we're we're part of another guild. We came up to deliver some quests, or like deliver some letters People. and stuff for a quest. Ah, Please. you're a little party from a little place. I get it. I guess yes, it. yes, we are. Yes, exactly. you keep rubbing yeah. it. You're so lucky I'm <laughs> in the guild right now. I swear <laughs> I would have already caused problems. <laughs> At which point, it's another fine. person is going to walk up beside them, and fine. this guy has the head of a lion. Oh my god, you're animals! At which point, it was it, it did seem to be looking over a book, but he put it away. It's like, can you stop interacting with them? 
I'm sorry. No, no, he's talking to the tiger. I'm sorry. <laughs> Leave them be. They're clearly oh, yeah. lower down. Look at them. Do you want the you bones? Barely, barely any money what? through their equipment. Arcanus, do cats eat bones? I have bones. Arcanus has nice equipment. What are you talking about? He seems to judge you don't have nice equipment. <laughs> wow, I have a golden but... glove. What a bitch. From he these guys' perspective, we're, in a, we're, we're in a we're in a big town, and in all fairness, um, we aren't like that powerful in perspective to probably what is the, probably, the upper not... echelon of strength I mean, in this true, world. True. So big, just just be fucking humble for once. Nah, I mean, fuck looking them. these guys over, you would know this guy. Like the first guy didn't look; he was wearing very much. Like he basically had like his chest showing sunglasses. On. Like mm -hmm. he basically looked the part of a brawler. He's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> but with that, you would know he did at least have some, like, magical base. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, well, to be, actually, no, actually, he's not, he doesn't technically have a weapon right now that you can see. So, him, not so much. He doesn't look very impressive. The second guy, though, I mean, uh, does have, does look more impressive. AKA, he's well, got, he like, really nice looking, looking roles. He has a king of the, king of the animals. He just has a really, he has a really nice, uh, cloak and robe type thing on. And as you well, see, as he- must be a noble. As he puts his arm up to uh, grab onto his companion's shoulder, you'd notice he's wearing what looks like a magical type bracer. Yeah. Upon like, so... upon that, I would then, I'm sure we'll we'll interact with these guys again in the future. But I'll turn back and see you if give us like, ten the more lady's minutes, done guys. Up calm money. down. Right, it's your pay here. Uh, she'll give you the bag of 160 right. gold pieces, which was the thing for be... the delivery and for all the five thirty-two. 160 divided by, by 5, 32 gold each. Yes. Yeah. So you're just going to give Nuggle her a lot? Yep. At which point, oh, you see the do. tiger guy looks and sees the amount of gold you're getting. He just sort of him snickering a bit and covering his mouth with his hand. How much did we get? Look, 30? look, Arcanus, I'm not I'll, humble. All right, I'll fuck turn this and, guy. Yeah, I'll turn <laughs> and look at the dude and I'll say, we we may be on your level someday, but that's that's probably a long time from now. Just... Allow us well, lower adventures to pass, please. Um, you why do you do this, Okanus? That's bullshit. <laughs> but okay. Why yes, why do well, I try to We tend to take higher quests, so I don't arrogant. really think we'll see you around the beginner board. <laughs> let's just what? let's just ignore them. You guys I'll, have I'll, like, you over it, give him a you, you guys have a nice I'll give him day. A nod and then just walk past. As yeah. I'm walking past the town, I'll see you over with uh, other cats on the street. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love that. He just seems to be snickering away. He's not really taking your your insults to heart. He seems to think you are lower down than him. He doesn't he care. Can, he can keep thinking that. It's not our I'm gonna, I'm like gonna, how you yeah, took the cow approach. No one okay. else in your party was nearly as calm. I'm going to activate my storm rune and I'm going to give him disadvantage. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm the talking guy. So you're yeah. going to activate your storm and you give him disadvantage on what? Anything just he does. Anything. I mean, it's got to be within the next six seconds, ten minutes before you leave the go. So you're just walking backwards, staring at him at <laughs> with your with your room ready. As you see him, he basically then gets up to the uh, thing and starts talking to the girl woman. He's like leaning proper on the counter. If he's if he wants to flirt with her, he will fail. That's, he there you you have no idea as he's are wandering away. Okay. Okay. I'm with that, watch him. You just can't leave the guild then. Assuming you don't mm -hmm. want to look at any of the board or anything or explain the I give you my money now. I actually am go giving you forty-two gold. Well, how much gold did we get? Gold? It? Yeah, then it's then it's rounded uh, off. I, I only owe you six hundred gold. Bro, I'm deaf. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. Yep. And I'm giving yeah, Demon right. forty-two. So Demon, you get so your now... thirty-two from Arcanes and forty-two from Aaron. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And he's good. Now it's a round number. I like that. Yep, now it's 600. Congratulations. <coughs> Do not Next spoil it, Jacket Ducky. I'll fuck you up. What? <laughs> the moment we're outside, I want to look around and see if I can just spot anything that looks like a general store. Uh, give me a quick perception check. Actually, no, it's great. So you've got like 20 something passive perception. You assume you've got your shield. 21 out. passive. All right, do you yeah. have your shield out? I suppose you don't technically walking around town. Ooh. I have 20. Isn't that enough? I, I... Yeah. I say, I say, giving you some perceptive, like, perceptive enough, unless you're looking for yeah, something really point, niche. My... Looking for general store, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, down, down the street, you notice a store that seems to be kind of wedged into, like, there seems to be a bit of a sign marking as a kind of general goods store. It's not the store you're recommended for weapons and such, but it does seem to be yeah, general. I'll, I'll say <laughs> to the party, hey, we should go to that general store over there first, 
Uh, so that it's, way we it's can across and down the street a little bit. So like it's still like a. Do a we have any general stuff? Any general stuff to sell? Um, mm, unsure, really. but it would be great having a map that could point us to anything we need. You are right. Go fast. Actually, let me go. I'm faster today. <laughs> okay, so are you, he's just keeping the cart parked. <laughs> no, we're uh, taking the I... cart with us. Unless, yeah, unless it's like right across the street. It's, it's down, like, it's across the street and just down a little bit. So it's like, a, a, it's a little bit of a walk, not, but like yeah, it's not... Take, take a card, take a card. We'll it'll arguably take yeah. longer taking bring a card. everywhere we go until we... It's okay, we have a whole fucking day. We can take the yeah, card. we should bring it No, you have a, a small fraction we, we of a day. We don't have a whole day. It's, getting towards like, night. it's, night it's okay, yeah. we have time. Okay, uh, moving the cart takes a little minute to get through all the, you know, the numerous people traveling around, especially because you're having to turn the thing to go back down the street. But given enough time, you just managed to turn the cart around, navigate mm. through, and just park in front of this little place. It's it would take you like two minutes to walk over there, but it takes you a good like twenty minutes to get the cart around there. Uh, so the shenanigans are turning it and whatnot in a busy street. There's a few people shouting in frustration as you try to get everything around. But some of those people not then uh, deciding not it's not worth it after they see you're got a dire wolf um thingy. Also, Dean, why are you permitting people to say the f word on my stream? What is this? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I see you permitting uh, terms. I mean, he, uh, he unpermitted uh, some racist terms and he permitted the fuck terms. My God. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck is not a bad word. It's just a word. It yeah, but it's a word if it shows up at the start of my videos. If they go online, it becomes a different It's not. It's, we're an hour and 32 uh, minutes. No, no, no. In. It's not I'm even. not talking about this stream. I'm talking about next time I stream. People open by saying uh, it. Uh, then it becomes a problem because it pops up on my video and then I don't get monetized. It. Get rid of that word. So unban that again. People don't have to say it. People have to swear in my chat to get their point across. <laughs> yeah, people can say feck if they want to. True. My okay. God, Demon, you're not you're not thinking like a YouTuber streamer. Uh, I'm thinking like a, just a not. streamer. Yeah. <laughs> just a streamer. I, just, uh, no yes. I saw the dude playing some Valorant yesterday. Motherfucker was playing unrated. Lol. I was playing ranked. What do you mean? What do you mean you were playing? Bro, that was so <laughs> It unrated. was my placement was game. crazy. My God, people. Okay. Uh, got me in the general store. What things are you trying to get? You just want to buy. No, we're selling. Um, yeah, map. I'll... Map. No, we're not selling. I just want to buy a map. I, I mean, while you're there, just check for the prices of as we sell. Well, I mean, okay, like, this say, is, this say, is just say the a stuff that we store. have and how much he would pay for it, and then we'll say we'll be back. And so no, this is just a general store. Smith. So, uh, yeah, this, this isn't an armor smith, this isn't a magical goods store. This is just like a dude who sells random, yeah, but he shit. knows prices of shit. So I will say him, you can get a, a map for a silver piece, and I'll give you a, a somewhat map. It doesn't like exactly mark down everything, obviously, because there's a lot of different store things, but it'll mark down, down the more important, important I have to go to the toilet a bit, but I'll spend a silver piece and get that map. In case you've acquired a map. You would also find, yeah, he's not willing to buy a crap ton of, like, cro uh, crossbows and things like that. He clearly is not that hip a store. Yeah. For that, he would recommend going to a, we to, you know, a weapon store or a smith's. Mm-hmm. Alright. Well, um, in that case, next, I'll look on the map and see where a weapon, like, a, an armor smith style store is. So that kind of stuff is not marked on the map. Because Fuck. it's a big old mm. city, and there's a whole bunch of different things. And getting right, marked on the map would mean it has to be super important. What the map does mark is, obviously, the various gates and things. And we said the city. And it will mark uh, the more important stuff, like the guilds, like churches, uh, things like that. Basically, what are dubbed as important buildings. Is the monastery on there? No. Do we know mm. that there's no monastery marked on this thing? Mm -hmm. I will look around for a general... Armor Smith style store then. Oh, R did get directions to one earlier. Can we just follow those directions? It's up to yeah, you. You can look for one there. or you can just follow the directions you were given earlier. Okay. Let's follow the directions and go there. Okay. We're, we're, we're literally good at this today, aren't we? I, I, I literally got the thing of directions to the guild and directions to the. And, uh, basically, what was meant to be a weapon store. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. And then you thought it was okay, I'll just, I'll just go look for one. I mean, you can, but you know, you, you kind of get told where one was that got recommended. Yes. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's what the Shiva It will take about an hour for you all traveling through the various things, but the crowds are starting to die down oh. a little bit because it's getting later in the day. And I guess. Okay, can you give me the necklaces with you? 
Immo and Arcanus give us survival checks. Just in the case survival. of just in the sense of navigating, following these directions. Both of you since both of you are riding cars. Yeah. <laughs> but does that bother? You just navigate down to where you want to get to for this store. Where you come where you come across Monster's Bane. But it seems to Monsters be a, a right. decent sized weapon store. It seems a little bit fancier than some of the ones you'd seen you might have seen crossing uh just like, you seem to play a stores, you're not sure what each of them are per se. Well, you definitely plastic by stores that had weapons, them. but this is the one they recommended. I will head inside and look around for like the main shopkeeper. And well, I'm the first him. thing you're met with at uh, straight in front of the front desk is a half orc. A quite a, quite a towering one. The big guy. Oh, as, well, as in like he's the shopkeeper. Okay, yeah. He does appeal to be. He appears to be the only one <laughs> in the store. I will walk up to him and I'll I'll be like, greetings. Um, we're not from around here. We were looking for a place where we could sell some items mm. like sell some weaponry and armor and potentially buy some weaponry and armor depending on what is stocked would right. this happen to fit that sort of description i guess i'll buy stuff sure save me restocking all right what you well, got? man's questioning um, why is he talking like that <laughs> we have 20 huh? scimitars 20 no, light he's crossbows, 20 sets no, of leather them. armor he... never mind me one chainmail, one great sword, one great axe, and one mole. And I have this giant sword that was used by a crab. One thing at a time. <laughs> As you just pour tons of stuff. What are you selling? Um, the scimitars. So, okay, so 20 scimitars. So basically, he will offer you what is basically the half of the going rate. So a scimitar is, weirdly enough, 25 gold pieces. We thought they're so much better than the short swords for some reason, but I don't know. It's apparently standard, so standard, is, standard bandits. Well, no, no, no. So yeah, it's, it's twelve gold and five silver pieces per one. So ten, so twenty. That'd be oh, two hundred and fifty gold pieces. Yes. Three hundred. <laughs> like, you can start buying then... all this stuff later. Just take count of what everything should be. Okay. okay let's, let's, wait, let's wait. 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 Let's write it down. I've, I've already got it. Now. That's what I'm saying. Let's crossbows are the exact same. So twenty crossbows will also get another two hundred and fifty. All right, and then the leather armor. Armor, I believe that goes for ten. So How it'll many be do we have? Five per one thing. So I think it'd be a hundred gold pieces you would get for that. Then that's single chainmail armor. Ba -ba -do -ba -do, just double checking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, leather goes for uh, ten normal. Uh, chainmail do -ba -do, goes for seventy-five gold pieces. So you'll get thirty-seven uh, gold pieces and five silver. Okay. Is that all we have? For the chin mill. Um, no, we have what is that a one great sword too. Okay, hold on. Do -ba -do. Let me check. So the weapons and the armor are in different categories. Do -ba -do. A great sword goes for 50 gold pieces, so you get 25. We have half plate as well, just so you guys know. Just so you know. Do oh, you? half plate um, armor. Yeah. Make a bit of yes, half plate. we do. Oh yeah, from Vincent. Uh, the half plate too. We'll do that next. Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe go through all the armor first, then go through the splitting batteries and forwards. Anyway. Uh, boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. that case. Armia. Uh, so half plate is medium armor. It goes for seven hundred and fifty gold pieces. So you get three hundred and seventy-five gold pieces for that. Nice. Um. Then the great axe, and then after great yeah. axe, the mole. Ba -ba -ba. The Great Axe goes for 30 gold pieces, so you get 15. And the, um, mall then the mall goes for 10, so you get 5. What about the... Right, that's the a total of 100... Of, that's wait, wait. a total of... Oh, yeah, the, the long sword from the crab. I mean, it, it's just a long sword. Uh, yeah. Just... yeah. Uh, that goes for, I believe it's also 10... Yeah, it's 15, so you get 7 gold, 5 silver. Which uh, no one read. You didn't mark down the last two bit. Uh, last two right. bits there, but... In that case, that's one thousand and sixty-five gold. Is it sixty-five? Wait, yes. you didn't mark down what, shit. What, what was the last thing you, that we added? Yeah, that was in my mind. Sorry. Uh, it was uh, b -b 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 it was the the great sword, sword, which was twenty-five. The uh, long sword, which was seven point five, and the mall, which was five. 
Oh, okay. When I, 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 I hadn't heard a long sword and a thingy. I'm noting things down and like just adding it to the previous one instead of noting them as separate things. Yeah, that I, way I, I have the total at the end instead of having to add them all up after they've all been listed. I need to make mm -hmm. myself an Excel sheet and do that. So I, I, I just he, missed a long sword. As so, he's carrying okay. up all the various why not, he's like, uh, do you want to buy anything while he's out here? Um, what stock do you have? Various weapons and goods. I've got full plates on sale. On uh, sale? Heavy crossbows. Well, what's a full plate? That would be... That would be 200, 213 gold each, by the way, guys. 13? 213. 213. Nice. Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. It's 1065 it's not... divided by 5 is yeah, 213. You're right. You're forgetting about Nuggle, aren't you? Nope. No, 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 no I'm saying five. Red's forgetting about Nuggle. No. Oh. I just miscalculating. Wait, but you're forgetting about... Uh, we have a new addition in the fucking team. Lexi. What? You get She's not getting money. money. Are we oh, wait, are actually, we yeah, no, no, she didn't f help the she fight. She didn't do anything, she's not getting yeah. anything. I put the first lot of the loot you got was from the group you killed to get her, and then yeah, the second we're, lot... We're actively protecting her. True. It's fine. She, she should be paying us! Right swords. Yeah, yes. pretty much. They're, they're fancier, apparently, than short swords. Just, apparently, bandits carry them. And these guys right, have beaten uh, a lot of bandits lately. Yo, Ginger, what's the, what's the full, full plate you said? Yeah, I've got full plate as he points over towards it, which is basically full plate on display. What would I get from that? It's the best heavy armor you could ask for. And basically, I'm asking the DM. Yeah, in, in this DM's point. term, it's basically. <laughs> you get 18 AC while wearing it. That said, though, it counts as heavy armor, not. Uh, oh, fucking no. I get 50 medium. Uh, how much is it? Are you proficient in heavy armor? Yeah, He's I assume so because you're a fighter. Fighters are proficient with everything, basically. Yeah. Weapon -wise, how how much do you sell the full 1500 armor? 1500 gold pieces. It's on fucking sale? That's the kind of standard rate. Are you crazy? <laughs> it's good armor. I threw, I guess, but listen. It is pretty good. If you make it 300, I'm done. <laughs> I gave you more than what? that for the half plate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And also, I know, so half plate, by the way, is. Uh, you said it gives you 15, but it also gives you plus two for your decks. You don't get to add oh. your decks on to the fill plate. The fill plate just ignores the requirement for decks, but then you Wait, get higher decks? AC. You you add two, uh, plus two to your deck uh, of your dexterity onto your armor. Yeah. So you get one plus one AC. Yeah, basically, your basically. AC, I believe, if you've got normal half plate, is seventeen. Then I don't, I don't know if you've got plus one half plate or something. Actually, no. So no, you get, you get no, you get regular half plate at plus one shield, and then you get your cloak of protection. That's where you're getting it. So that's why you get twenty one AC. Yeah, so, yeah, so if you had the thing, you'd get one more. Yeah. yeah. So basically, wearing this, you got by one more. Oh. Flip okay. side, though, is it's heavy armor, which it weighs slightly more, but that's not too big a deal. Wait, what can't, the, what, what you, do I have that's giving me all the AC? Wait, what? I'm so confused. You have 15 for your base plus armor, plus, plus 2 for your deck. You decks. have a shield that gives you plus 3 total, yeah. then plus no, 1 for your cloak me... of protection. So you're oh, at 17, yeah. plus 3 from your shield, 20, plus 1 from your cloak of protection, 21. Yeah, makes sense. A lot of stuff, you know. It all does make sense. Yep. Everything adds up. By standard goods. The bane of all monsters. <laughs> I'm Bane, by the way. The bane of all monsters? Oh, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Bane. I'm Arcanus. And I reach <laughs> out to, like, shake his hand. Yeah, that, that, so that are was, you buying anything? That was wholesome. Probably not. Bye. Um... Um, right. what, at which point, you see him, you see him slide the silver away he oh. brings up instead of a bag of uh, copper. I'll, I'll ask um, if he sells any enchanted or naturally stronger material items. Mm, no enchantments. <coughs> you want the other store for that? Magic store. Other store? Hmm. Could we get directions to such a store? Also, we may at some point be back for some um... some of that half plate armor once we've got a little bit more gold in our pockets. You mean full plate? Okay. Yeah, that full plate armor once we have a little bit Just of more to know, gold. Just to note, see the pockets. five silver you've got. He's instead giving you five hundred copper for it. Oh, sorry, yeah, fifty copper for it. Um, just whoever's uh... taking that silver. <laughs> The, the five silver, we got two lots of five silver that added up to one more gold. You're lucky then, because he was thinking... Uh, actually, no, scratch that then. Yeah, you're getting a hundred copper mixed in amongst all that. So someone, you're getting a hundred copper to mix in. Just give it to Gobby. Yep, yep. Yeah, Gobby can take that. Someone mark off oh a gold and take a hundred copper. Yeah, someone mark off a gold. 
I'll do it. <laughs> you're being very subtly like subbed in the silver. I, as you mentioned, you're not buying anything. He, he replaces it with copper. <laughs> no. no. Nice. Like, you're still getting your money, but he's taking a slight... Well, I mean, if, if, if you're not going to be selling it back, so I'll just give you the copper and get rid of it here. Damn. Arcanus, inside I'm giving you 100 gold pieces. Oh, nice. Bye. Hold on, let me, let me go to my magic to you want... mark off some of that. Is it was going to give you directions towards the magic base shop if you are interested in that? Yes. Heck yeah, very I'm going to go there from the very interested. Yep. I was like, basically mentioning basically got literally around a corner. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Uh, what's this name again? Magical bits and drip, something like that. Magical I don't get it. bits and drip. We go in and it's just like a high end, advanced looking clothing. He doesn't really get it, but basically, apparently, that's like the closest magic stop he knows of that people apparently go to. Red is the most generous rogue I've ever seen. No, she's not. Yeah, Red, Red is not the most generous rogue. Red is in debt to all of us. Red uh, owes the doll. No, no, I'm Red very generous. Red stole our diamond that we were saving for Revivify because Red was poor. I, it's all fine. You don't even know that I sold it. It's just not here Yes, anymore. we do. You've told us now. Oh, did I? We Plus do know. the fact yes. you needed it for literally, you know... We brought it up when Lexi was like, I know Revivify. Oh, yeah, you guys I, have I said I sold that. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did. Awesome. We know now. Is yeah. there anything else Red is not help generous. Red has sold our important stuff and is in debt to all of us. It don't matter. Um, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll then say to... I'll say to him... Um... As I said, we may be back for that full plate once we're, we have a bit more money, money, but for now, for now, we will bid you adieu, and then... Alright, I look forward to your next visit, as he'll then go back to whatever it is he was doing before you came in. Okay, wait, I'm confused. Wait, I'm confused about one thing, right? Okay. So, Just AC of the half plate is 15, right? That's its base. Yep. Then you get half plate, plus two from your Medium decks. armor, you add on some of your dexterity, up to a maximum Some of, of it? Yes, up to oh, max two. Max two of two. Okay, okay. That, now light armor, light you add armor all has your decks. no, yeah. yeah, no decks limit. So that's what Aaron's wearing. Okay, mm -hmm. now I get it. I'm. I was fucking confused about that. Realistically, uh, heavy armor. The biggest value for that is people that have no decks, like Arcanus, for example. He like has me. no benefit from medium armor because Which he has is no decks. Why I've got heavy yeah. armor. <laughs> you sit in an interesting place though because you have good decks and strength, so you can basically wear medium armor and still get a good amount of benefit from it. We didn't show the yep. shield, but whatever. I'll... Mm. You're just sitting there with that extra shield. Just oh, fuck it. <laughs> Sell it. Yes, right, now we now. head to the the magical bits and bobs store. All right, another bit twenty-five trip minute trip up the road, and you come across what <laughs> looks like one of the most colorful store you've seen. Because this one's clearly the painted outside of it to make it stand out a bit from the rest. Oh, All right, and even from the in, from the uh, outside, you can see that they've got. But it looks like stalking like magical robes. Uh, it looks like basically wizard clothing, like sta your standard oh. wizard clothing. I feel like I'm gonna walk in and instantly be recognized as the type that would be shopping in this with my big brimmed hat, my cloak, my fucking staff with the purple crystal. And... In that case, uh, yeah, I'll... going in, the first off, it jingles because they've got a bell. Jingles, jingle bell. At which point, uh, you'll hear from hey, Kara, just a second. Da -da -da -da. A second has passed! No. At which point you'll see a... What well, looks like... Not too old. Female. Uh, blonde hair mm -hmm. braided. She's wearing a fairly large... Not as large as yours, Arcanus, but a large wizardy hat. But hers is... Arcanus. <laughs> I'm kidding. As you'll notice, the inside of the store is also quite colourful. Uh, as it's got various types of clothing uh, just all over the place. Is it like Enzo's colors. store? No, and the other store is more organized and got like a, you know, magical things everywhere it should be. Her one, it's got, you know, it seems to have magical stuff, but it's got a lot of clothing based <laughs> for wizard types. But it's like every color you can imagine. What the hell is right, this, um... Arcanus? Well, you'd also notice while glancing around is a Goliath sitting down in the chair with That's a cute. big old axe as he just kind of thought... gives a bit of a grunt and kind of nods towards you. I tell her, okay, I thought we came into a magic oh, store, not, not a magic clothing store. Yeah. I'll, I'll look over at Audio and say, I guarantee all of this clothing has special properties of some kind. Yeah, what? No, no, that's just for dressing up. The magical stuff's like, I, I don't exactly leave it out in case you know, someone tries to steal oh. it. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, um, 
What's more, this is more just to make the place look a bit brighter. It is that very is bright. completely understandable. <laughs> very bright, holy Plus, shit. you d never believe the number of people that come in looking for a big hat or a fabulous cloak and wants a really specific color because they don't want the, the standard greys and browns <laughs> and whatnot. Do you know Enzo? Uh, we would never do something like that. I've never heard of him. Too bad. No. Okay. Anyway, um. But welcome. What can I do for y'all? You seem of... like the type to be interested in magical goods. Yes, I I am usually quite interested in magical goods. Are do you not? I, I I like to tilt my head slightly to the side as though that's blatantly obvious. Taking a look at me. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'll ask, what what kinds of magical items do you have in stock? Well, first I probably should ask what type of finances you're playing with because there's a couple of different tiers lists, and I don't exactly want to like show you all the fancy stuff when we... really you probably can't really afford it. A lot of people we, come in here thinking a... this is a beginner's place, and sometimes they end up like, oh my god, that's 500 gold, but they only have like 20. <laughs> we have a few 20. thousand gold. Um, Are you lying? All together? Are... All together? No, all, all we... together, we, we do. We've got a couple thousand Do gold. you? But everyone we... by themselves has about 200. So. Alright, everyone, so. what's everyone got? I've got 600 gold pieces. 317. Okay. That's a thousand. I'm hiding in the cart right now. You wouldn't ask me this question. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Then I have one thing. Actually, well, you and me. DM but actually... would ask me this question. The DM um, would ask me, sure. 739. Was like Holy flying. shit. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, okay, so you yeah, realize the cart doesn't have thousand. several thousand, but yeah. It's almost 50, it's no, about listen, over... 1,500, 1, Like, I'm just saying I mean, for said persuasion right. or deception, okay? Like, because one falls into the list. Where are you trying to deceive right now? Are you trying to make a point? Oh, I... My my character would be probably be like, yeah, we we have a couple of thousand, even if it's not exactly a couple thousand, which is still several thousand. So more so just making a point. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of us in our party, so right, right. But how many even... several is two... that thousand? I mean, at um, least two, because uh, yeah, about about Ed, two thousand, no... maybe a bit over. Yeah. Okay, so we want to be falling a bit two. under the rare characters. You're looking more for the uncommon types of things. Okay. If That's you have cool. any rare items that we may want to pull our money towards once we have a bit more money, it would still be nice to know. Rock up with about 5,000 gold pieces, and then we okay. can talk. That, that may be happening sooner than you think. Is it under 5,000, or is it going to be above 5,000? Most there. items there. of that, once you get to a certain rarity, end up being about 5,000 and more. Because um, if we come here with 5,000 exactly... I did say and yeah, more. Well, Regardless, okay. regardless, we would still like to know what kind of magical <coughs> items to stop. Well, the most basic one is doing enchants. So, for example, doing enchantments on your various types of armor and weapons and things. Mm -hmm. Or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think what your type of party might require. Weapons! I don't, I don't stock many potions. There is a different store for that. How, if that how is much what you're might after. it cost? How much might it cost to enhance armor to make it slightly more tough. Oh. Whatever it would cost to get the armor to that level, it's still going to take the exact same amount of work. Mind okay, wise? say... And then I'll, like, move my cloak slightly to the side to reveal my, like, glimmering mithril armor. The chainmail. Say you were <laughs> to try to enhance this, how much would that cost? Probably something in the region of about 5,000 gold pieces. Right. Enchanting that armor is very tough. good to know. What about the shield? That will probably be. It's already I'm... plus. I know. That's already enchanted. Yeah, more. Going <laughs> higher, probably some region of mm... ten. <laughs> yeah, probably about at least ten thousand or more. You're Holy crazy! Shit. Holy shit! I don't I think you realize how powerful an enchant that requires. Is it? Yeah. It's already got I, a really I good one on is... it. Okay, wait. Before... I think this is still fail fairly good information for us to be learning. Is... How much would would it cost to enhance this shield? I raise my sentinel shield. Ah, uh, that's already got a different enchantment. I'd have to wipe the current enchantment to get a new one mm. placed upon yeah, it. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, what about <laughs> no, mix yeah, like mixing the enchants? Is it a very messy business? More often than not, it's going to result in failure. Even me trying to wipe it, it could end up failing. Could end up going wrong. Could end up costing me a bit more. Hmm. What about this Thor hammer? It's already enchanted. Why do That's you? That's already enchanted. Although, Can it be up, up I've enchanted? seen better days. Did you break it? 
Uh, did oh. I break? I don't know. Can I have a look at it? Yeah. For As you see her looking the thing over. Is it? There's is it something a wrong with this hammer thing. and it's that strong? Sure. You might want to go see. I, I, I'm guessing this is dwarven make, given some of the markings on it. You might yeah, want to go see a, like a dwarven Hello? smith about it. That would be insane. How did it I not realize broken. it's broken? What the fuck? I don't know. It just seems like it's like always on for some reason. Uh. Oh, probably control it. Maybe. Okay, I'll Over. take it back. So there's nothing wrong with it, or is something wrong with it? I mean, there's something Maybe. wrong with it. I mean, if it's working for you so far and you haven't got the repercussions for it, I just I'd, I'd be careful if I were you. I no, mean, probably it, if you get it, a net it one, launches lightning happens. when they punch stuff. Look, I'll punch your floor. It's thunder. Yeah, don't lightning. do that. Okay, sorry. It's thunder, so it emits like a loud shockwave when it hits up. Yeah, but see, when you hit my beautiful flooring and it breaks, then I have to repair yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah. It I, takes I, a whole bunch of time. Um, yeah, no, no, he no, said, no, don't worry, he said his hammer like emits lightning, and I was correcting him. It does not emit no, lightning. No, it's thunder hammer. I said thunder. Yes. No, he did not. I said lightning? Yeah, yeah, you did. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of goods do you sell? You said the uncommon kinds yeah, would aside, be... Aside from enchanting. Parsley. If you have no money, then what are you asking for? I am interested to hear what he has. Shut up. <laughs> you have no... He has... Gee. She has no money. You don't need to tell. That's... She has... No, I assume he's coming here as a party. Sure. Yeah, yes, he, yes, he, we he... are. Ignore our loudmouth dwarf. He's a bit slow. I am talking quietly today. Not right. today, though. He's not too slow today. Well, one of the funner items, as she goes digging through it, and she pulls out a, a couple of wands. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> a wand? Wand of the War Mage. Essentially made for enhancing your magical abilities to hit things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, sure. the, the Wand of the War Mage, it basically has a plus one to hit. On yeah. your... So just my staff. Yeah. But like, not as good. Kind of, Worse. Yeah. Eh. Mixed. Mm. My right. staff already enhances my spells. Do you have any other... Any other... Types of checking, it doesn't. I don't, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's it, literally the one the warm is literally just that. It doesn't up your de, uh, DC or anything either. Uh, mm -hmm. Additionally, though, it does allow you to ignore half cover when making spell based attacks. So, neat. neat. Wait, I'm gonna run out and get Nuggle. Maybe there's a weapon for Nuggle here. Okay, we can. I mean, she's it. already got an enchanted right? plus one longsword. Yeah. Oh, she but, does? Yeah. Yeah. Since when? Greg got her ages ago. ago. Yeah, Greg, yeah, Greg, got, her. Greg yeah. got her one as a Yeah, but she wa wasn't she like crying about get wanting a new weapon? Yeah, yeah. and then that Greg was before. got her. And then Greg yeah, got her. Before, yeah, that oh! was before she got a new weapon. No one okay. else is going to well, get was... her one. She doesn't know how counting works. So Greg, just, you kept giving Greg tons of money. <laughs> the guy okay, was sitting good. there with like 2,000 gold went, hmm, maybe I should buy Nuggle a weapon so she can fight better. Yep, okay. Smart, we good smart. then, we good. Right, uh, this one is a Wand of Magic Missiles. So <gasps> I'm sure... Is it like this one? That is exactly that. You know what this one is? Actually, she just puts it that way. Uh, this... um, well, I'll ask her how much it costs, the Wand of Magic Missiles. Yeah, it's a good It'd be have, 600 yeah. gold pieces. Need to have. All right. I'll keep, I'll keep that in mind. Let's keep it's going a good through. One. Get it's that very one handy, up. especially when how you're... How many uses does it have? Yeah, I, I think it About would be... About seven, I believe. Okay. Cool. I Although think you might be really careful like... with that last use. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, we, we already it's... know. We, we've sensed a bit of a... A bit of a wild aura whenever our dwarf over here uses the final charge of his. What wings. do you mean wild aura? I don't mm -hmm. emit aura. Mm -hmm. Now, this last oh, one's more of an right. example. I made magic piece. missiles. <laughs> As I have a few ones like this. Uh, these are fairly basic in the idea of them, but basically they're made of various different types of woods and materials, and each one represents a different element. If you were to cast something through the wand, it will enhance that element and do an extra damage. So Wait, basically, really? it's a one that will increase a damage type by plus one when you cast a spell that damage type. Psh. It also acts as a spell focus. Mm-hmm. Okay, for that wizards and something, I don't this care about this. Sounds... These are about 200 each. Sounds neat, I guess. Yeah, could be They could be quite handy. For example, I know a popular you pull them one. In the I'm currently sold out of them, but a popular one is people who cast magic missiles. They like to use the force variants uh -huh. of the wand because then yeah. it enhances each shot. So if you have a shot that does <laughs> multiple fires, it can enhance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. them. It, can well, it be, can, wait, can it that's why like mobile fires. Magic missiles are more unique case, I suppose. Now think about it. 
Can it be used together with the Wanda magic missiles? Or does it no. Have you have to actually be able to cast the magic, I'm afraid. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? I think another one, probably <laughs> one's a fire one, where people you cast, for example, fireball. Then it does an additional bit of damage to everyone it hits. Mm-hmm. So okay. the one to know only enhances one roll. So it works for magic missiles really well, because it's only one roll. But anything else that's multi-fire, it only enhances the first shot. But if you do something that hits uh, multiple people at uh, once, it'll hit all of them for that extra plus one. Okay, fireball. You can change the uh the like the element of it, right? Or is it like that? One no, she's got just lots of different ones for each different damage type. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. No, oh, so that also works with cheddar. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. Basically, it means that as long as you hit lots of people, it'll do the extra plus one to lots of people. Yeah. Neat, neat. Right, well. Oh, that are my ask, fun ones. What, I have a couple of fun magic outfits, items? like outfits to clean themselves, what? repair cool. themselves, are sturdier. I have this cloak that will dramatically blow when you tell it to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I look over at Audio and I'd be like, hey, you want a new one? Wait, what's different about it? Is that first uh, boss's you, you cloak? You can, yeah, you... you threw away your cloak of billowing on that, like, a dead dwarf's oh, corpse yeah, a long we time found ago. It in a this cave. is another one. Oh, no, I, don't, I have this cloak of protection, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the cloak of billowing, I, don't, I can't even remember if it requires achievement or not, but yeah, like, if someone has it, it's just dramatic effect. It does nothing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it I does remember. Nothing. It's funny. It's funny. Let's see I'll what other remember. little bits and pieces do I have. Um, We don't need little. Give me Still now, not impressed, honestly. <laughs> Well, you did want the lower end stuff. Well, in That's all fairness, better. the stuff we have is probably like the the better stuff that we can get of the lower end stuff. Yeah, so like we're mean, gonna we're gonna I need more a... money if we want some actual. I'm fucking concerned about my I hammer right now, bro. Right? Mommy, so, Look, my, I mean... at the end of the day, I will go randomly get other things in and out as time goes. So if you stop back at round points or come with more money in hand, um, they can certainly scrolls? display more to you. I can, but they don't tend to sell very well. Well, do you have any not very popular for some store? reason? Do you, do you happen to Sorry. have any scrolls of Revivify? Yeah, I imagine no. those would be popular enough to. Odd create. enough, no. People don't. Te- people not only just bring a cleric along or a red rider, someone that can cast this spell. Mm. Uh, I know yes, grabbing diamonds is quite popular. That you're going to want a jewelers, but good luck getting a hold of them. A lot of people in town try to buy them. Mm. So there's unfortunately, stats. somebody sold our diamond, and then I give no. si- like a side eye to red. I do have some supplies that. for making your own scrolls, if that is something you're interested in. But aside from that, I don't really stock them, since they don't really tend to sell well. Mm. Hmm. Alright. Um, out of your rare items, are there any key things that we should be focusing on saving for, per chance? It depends. Are you after something in particular? Um, not really any specific object, but if you happen to have something that catches any of our eyes, then I mean, I mean there are various things uh, back here. Try to save up for things for dealing look- additional damage, things for helping mm-hmm. you stay stealthy, things for helping you be quicker on the battlefields, things that Red help boost your defense. <laughs> There's quicker Red is, uh, things. Da, da, da. Yeah, I have a lot of a lot of different items. I can do a lot of different things. What about that quick stuff? Can you? Quick what, what do you have? As I said, if you bring me about five hundred pieces, we can talk. 500? Uh, okay. 5,000. 5, so you just told us... you, Okay, so well, you have nothing mind, right now for he, us. Okay. We need more he money. Does, he does not want to reveal what he's got. I see. It's more Listen. just... She's clearly very guard... Like, you see there's no magic items on display. Unlike Enzo's shop that had mm-hmm. stuff on display, she has a guard sitting there and nothing yeah. on display. She's not trusting or bringing items out in the open. How about yeah. I give you one gold coin? She's being coin. very guarded about what, she, what she'll bring out. She only brought out the I uncommon g- stuff when she confirmed you actually had the money for it. Listen, but you give you the idea, co- maybe people have tried to steal from her before, tried to like physically attack her before. Let's see. I'll, I'll give you a gold coin I'll then so you ask, show us the I'll ask if she happens to have or know where to acquire a necklace of prayer beads. Hmm. Oh well, I don't what? have one personally, uh but there are different temples and such, uh that do various different religions, so if you ask around them, maybe somewhere around mm-hmm. there. Uh, Find one of your own religion. Perhaps I would, you can speak to someone there yes, about I would, it. I would love to be able to cast like certain spells as bonus actions that are normally not bonus actions. No, that's actually you cool. Have that, oh wait, you could have that ability if you took a quicken spell. 
I could, yeah. but I don't have quick. But you didn't. You decided to go for subtle and distant because you decided after the slime incident you were never suffering again. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> That, yes, that makes perfect yes, sense, yes, though. Yes, um, yes, I'm yes, going to, yes, yes, I'm, I'm yes. I'm going to ask her, how much um, would it cost for a magical bardic instrument? Do you uh, know that? Magical bardic instrument? I guess it depends on what you're trying to do with it. I mean, there are some famous... I should know, I don't currently like have one. I did have one a while back, but someone bought it. This Could is I quite. This town has quite a few for? adventures in it. Well, the city, sorry, has quite a few adventures in it. So, uh, specialized items tend to go pretty quick. Mm -hmm. If you're not, Could you tell fast. me how much you sold that for, just to know what. What rare is yeah. item you're talking about? All right, uh, well, the, are, the body games in general, they're all rare, aren't they? No, the uncommon, rare, and very rare. Even a legendary one, but they. they yeah. Okay. So there's, there's various different levels to it. Yeah. But uh, the one I had was in sure the you... uh, upper category of over five thousand gold pieces. Mm -hmm. Oof. I'm pretty sure even the uncommon ones are quite expensive compared to normal uncommon thingies. Well, in her case, she's just mentioned the fact specialized items tend to go quickly because uh, mm -hmm. the classes that specialize in them will come looking for them. That makes sense. Need that money for them rare items. Rare items I are do you have it by chance. Uh... Yeah. Uh-huh. Actually, oh, no, I don't need anything. There's only one other thing I can think of. Do you happen to have a ring of spell storing? Again, you'd need a bit more money for something like that. That's a bit fancy. Yeah, well, Sounds I'm, right. I'm aware of such. I can say I've certainly know... had them. Yeah, if they come in and out of your possession every now and then, then I know There's what I would... certainly something that's been in cycle before, sure. What what would you normally charge for them for if I come back and you happen to actually have one in stock? A ring of spell storing. Probably something in regions of about 7,000 gold pieces. Alright, now I know what to save my gold for. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's a great spell. That's, great uh, spell. Great great thing. Yeah, you have great spells <laughs> with that thing. Oh, we can com literally combine spells with that, which is awesome. Well, sort of. I mean, yeah, I can cast Sanders something off. into it. I could cast something into just it. So Even everyone's aware, uh, so for, just for alert, send a message. Uh, thank you for everyone is giving out things, but I'll do all the stuff for that at the end, just so we're not interrupting day and day. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll just say thanks to everything at the end for any bits to argue about. Yeah, we continue. yeah that, the ring of spell storing is Nifty. an item that I wish was in Baldur's Gate, but I understand why it's not. It's a, a oh, no, it's really decently powerful. strong item. I don't think yeah. anyone can wear that thing, and it's it insanely put... powerful. As long as you get cast, yeah, you can put spells a, a non-spell caster can have a spellcaster put like a bunch of fifth level spells into it, and then no, they no, can no, use it can hold no. five levels worth a of single spells. one. A single oh, one. it's single. five levels worth of yes. spells. You can either get one fifth level spell, or you could get like five first level spells. So, for example, you could give it to oh. R, and you get a five shield stored in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or I could give it to you. You could keep it. I could put two silvery barbs on it, and you could put a third level spell on it. Yeah. It basically, just adds up to five. Uh, Levels worth of spells. Okay. All right. Good to know. Yeah. Either way, still very strong item. I could just, on days where I, I know we're not going to be doing stuff, I could just pump a bunch of cure wounds into that thing. Yeah. You can. Right, before we before we leave, and this then place, use that um, to run my heals. Yes. We need some place like to stay the night. I mean, there's plenty of taverns and such. Is there like one very close by? We can. I mean, if you look up and down the streets, I don't think there's anywhere in particular I could recommend. I have my own place. Oh. So I don't really know in particular well, where everyone goes to <laughs> for adventuring sense. types. Um, yeah, I, I've got a map, and I imagine the map would have, like, inns on The it. map would have a few taverns not down yet, because those are yeah. somewhat important places for people. Okay. Yeah, I'll, well, we'll I'll be say, back oh, once we have 5,000 gold. Don't worry, gold. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Good day to you all. Uh, I'm, I'm saving up 7,500 now. Well, well uh, Demon, you get another 100 gold. Uh, no. <laughs> You're just trying to eat away at your debt now. I mean, eat yeah. Away. Demon, I mean, while they were doing yeah, that, that's, you that's notice a, a guy uh, wearing somewhat of a guard outfit come across your car and look at it. And he's like, just kind of looking at the fact that he's a part here for a while. Yeah, don't worry about him. Fine. You seem kind can of I, high, high in you? the car a little bit. Wait, did we just sell everything? We sold everything, right? We sold yeah. Most of the stuff, yeah. We, we still have a couple items that we didn't sell by accident. It's fine, though. 
right when we come out to the cart um would the gu the guard still be there when we come out to the cart? The guard was kind of having a look at the cart because he's been parked here for a while. What's up? Is he still there? He was getting, he's there, there kind of just eyeing the cart, but he's not seeing or doing anything currently. No, he's right. a, I'll, I'll ask there. him if he has directions to to the stables, because I I imagine my character would be decently lost Maybe he where it. we are in the city at this point. Aye, aye. By the, by the gates, typically. Ah, thank you. And then we'll like all get ready to head out. I right, just be careful leaving your cart blocking up the street for too long. Take <laughs> yeah, too so long, I, you might lose sorry, a wheel. Sorry about that. We didn't expect to take so long in there. You might lose a wheel. Is crazy. What am I in fucking Detroit? That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hey, leave your cart lying out long kind enough. You'll find out with the door. anvil. <laughs> right. That's what he's doing then. Um, we should head to put our cart away in the. The stables. Okay. I'm gonna buy a horse as well. Yeah, if, the, if, if we can, deal. buy another horse. So, first you'd uh, ask about the horse, you'd find, no, they do not currently have any horses for sale. Rest in peace. Right. Good to know. Turns out there might be a lot of adventures in town buying horses. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. So you have a bit of a trickier time with that one. Um, As for uh, at the stables, I'm trying to think, because you've got now, what, two horses plus the carriage? So yes. they would cost you about for storing all that, like two gold a day. Um, right. Well, I have something that I need to need to save up for now, so I will no longer be the one forking out all the money for like the stables and the, the inns and stuff. <laughs> what do you mean? I've been paying uh, for it too, you bitch. Don't start. Right. Yeah, you 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 don't have to either. It can be one of the other. Yeah, but Aaron and R are normally, you know, I've I read R and R. Poorer. I can give two gold. Fuck you. There That's you for go. one day, though. That means you have That's to come perfect. tomorrow and get it. That's okay. It's, it's fine. He'll start so the day and I'll just pay for the rest. to leave tomorrow. We don't yeah, know what we're doing, so, I, you know, correct. one day is fine. I'll give 20 gold, all right? I get 20 no, gold. We don't know well, if he's staying. I, yeah, I thought we were going to take the we're next probably, day to go through the next gate and see... We're see probably Lady going on adventures. We don't need the guard to do that. We might be going on adventures soon, so, you know. Well, we have one day of storage, so we just have to collect it. Yeah. Before tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah, it basically tells you to be there. Come we'll collect it, it by noon. By noon uh, the next day. We'll by noon? Oh, by noon the next day. Yeah. In that case, give that's four gold over. That way we have an extra day. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, give four gold over so we have that extra day just in case. Four yeah, gold, gold, okay, gold. sure. I'll mark yeah, it up. Bro, I'm paying. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, pay them. Pay them. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking Ryu. You and I, we, we shouldn't be pay paying anymore. We've been doing no, it. No, you fucking time. should. 600 and 700, motherfucker. I have 839 gold now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so you would see marked on the map that are, some taverns are recommended. Wait, before, Gigi, before. Honestly, you two should be paying because you, you remember those fucking uh, we, coins you never fucking... split with the team? You remember those coins? What coins? What, what coins? coins? Are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking about? What coins? What yeah, are you saying? Exactly, That's bitch. Li <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we. We're the I ones who like that they got everything. Some platinum. Exactly. I know it, it outside of the character. The, uh, yeah, I know it outside of the character. Yeah, I know it outside of the character. Uh huh. So he doesn't know. Basically, I said O O C. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Okay. And nobody. We've been paying for everything for everyone this hey, whole hey, fucking hey. time, and we've been hey, lending hey, out our money to you guys when you need it. This whole fucking time. You can pay for oh, something you yourself for once. you haven't let me shit. Yes, I have. you let me is more lives. <laughs> only, <laughs> only demon let me shit. Red is like... I, I lent you money when you put down money for your shield. You can, did? can we just find an end? We yes. can have this argument over dinner. No, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. No, it was only I literally demon, have let... No, he, he helped you pay for the shield after you were collecting it. I helped with the money on the down deposit for them to look for it. You were broke. Yeah, you also oh, picked up the shield true. and paid the rest of it after, uh... <laughs> Shit, sorry. Anyhow. No, I I'm talking about the second shield. I also oh. helped with the deposit for the first shield, but then I bought the rest of the first shield myself. Yeah. The first shield? Yeah, remember yeah, how you asked Enzo to get your shield? You put a deposit for the sentinel shield. I helped with that deposit too, but I wasn't counting that deposit because I ended up with that shield in the end because you were missing for months. Sure oh, did. Right, 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 right. And I helped him pay it off. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, so Zangadi remember how you asked shield. Enzo to look for a magical shield, and Enzo mentioned the fact that Arcanus had yeah, a magical remember. shield. That's the... Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so I have helped you pay for things too. I'm the nominator. Saved your life I'm the MVP. Times, but I'm paying for everything. I wasn't, I wasn't counting that them. one. Yeah, I wasn't counting the, yeah, the saving your life that. multiple times because you've also saved my life multiple times. True. All right. Anyhow, I paid for the horses. We made three hundred gold coin. Wait, what? He's not giving up four gold. All right. Cool. Right. Anyway. To the inn! Or tavern. To the tavern we go. Or Bullshit. Whatever. So, okay. Now these eggs are on display, the boys. Map, there are various place marks. Now, you know that only really the better places tend to get marked on the map. So if you go to one of these places, it might be more expensive. It would be a reasonable destination. But it I would be a nicer stay. I want to look around if I see something. Exactly. Uh, that looks like an end. Yeah, basically. So yeah, you, if you want to just go for the first thing you faint, or you just no, want to go to one of the one of the ones that's marked. No, no I'm just going to around. go to check around. Do I see something that looks decent enough? <laughs> Bro, if there's stables here, there should be like right next to it a tavern. Makes also sense. I mean, there could have been, but in this case, there's not because the whole bunch of stuff. What the? F okay. Do I see something? Where are we all? How are we gonna keep these eggs warm during the night, guys? Sleep with them. Um, there'll, yeah. there'll be fireplaces in taverns. <laughs> Just... Yeah, in the room. Yeah. Then let's go to a fucking one of the high end taverns. That will have fireplaces in the rooms. Well, so the closest one you have marked in the map is a place called Ruby's Place. Hmm. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go there. <laughs> Alternatively, yeah, you can follow Red, who Red is looking currently for a tavern. And you notice one that strikes like a, a pub, it may be a tavern. You can at least see people That's drinking. Where I'm going. Are we so going to different places? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's up to you. You can split for us if you want, like... Are we... Uh, I think we should all stick together here. No. Are we going yeah, to split up? Like, are you going to the no, fancier place or are you going to the grittier place? Yeah, no, no hearing, hearing that, Red's like, are we going to split up? She's like, that's not... A, that does not sound smart. We should just go to the fancier place. Like, she's just looking at, yeah, yeah we, we probably shouldn't split up, given where we are and what yeah, I know. Uh, what do you know? What do you know? Oh yeah, exactly. my god. Yeah, she remember explained the, remember all the whole thing about there being bad people Dude, living in this town? Don't say yeah, don't say it. Say You're talking too goddamn loud. Out loud <laughs> yeah, so if we could prioritize perhaps when we stay together for those, that'd be really great. Yes. And Honestly, I... if you get into your noble friend's place, that'd be much safer than any place we could be. Otherwise, I'd appreciate a place with a bit better security. Yeah, hmm. I think we should go to the higher end wow. place for this night and then yeah. ask Lady Everburn if we can stay in whatever Fucking okay. mansion or wherever she's staying. Yo, sounds good. Right, so sure. you're into Ruby's yeah, place. Then. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So what you'd know about this place is for one, yeah, there's uh there's people coming in and out. Uh going in, you see that they've got guards and stuff to give you a quick nod. And walking in you see they've got a stage with people performing. With it basically being a combination of both men and women just doing kind of dancing. Oh. Right. It's not. Um, it's nothing like insanely inappropriate anything like that. But it's like you know they've got some form of entertainment based thing on basically. I'm glad that you gave us that. I, I don't think anybody you. thought of it's, that, but okay. I'm just thinking, and someone would. The second I mentioned those people <laughs> on stage dancing at Tara, I'm like, okay, what kind? Of, like, okay, it's nothing like going into the exotic areas, but you know, no stripping. Yeah, it's basically not. A, it's not so much a strip show, but you know, like their dance could be considered exotic due to their movements, but no, not in that sense of them stripping see, darling. It's more just entertainment based. Mm -hmm. And you get the feeling that, yeah, they do basically stuff on stage to keep people entertained. Uh, you know, this is quite a nice place. Everything looks fairly well made and furbished. Uh, they've got nice seats and things. They've got a bar, along with what looks like kind of reception area, still over to the side. At which point, seeing you passing by, the reception person will go, uh, Hello, can I help you with something? Um, hi, do you have. Somewhere where six people, or an, a, enough rooms, I guess, where six people can stay, and six. one room particularly large six. for a direwolf? Uh... Seven. Oh, seven. wait. Yeah, <laughs> seven, sorry. Oh, I was, a bit, I was, I was about yeah, to seven. say. <laughs> there's four sorry, of I, you. I forgot about Gobby. Plus Lexi. Yeah, I forgot about Gobby. Ah, it's Gobby forgot about. I was about to say, who'd you forget about? 
Yeah, it was it was it was Gobby. I forgot. You completely because... got fucked. Yeah. Because so, um, I, my people. brain was just going on the, the payroll cycle plus Lexi. <laughs> Dire Wolf. Ah, uh, we've never had someone stay with one of those before. Um, it's it's uh, it's completely sanitary. Like the random people here. I'm glad we're different. I might have to have a quick word with someone about that. Uh, could you wait here a moment? Yes, of course. Man, we Which always have cheat. to wait in this town. These are the ones that brought a fucking direwolf to go to a tavern. Like, what did you just expect? <laughs> Arcanus, you should have, like, disguised these eggs in my arms as boxes. Yeah, I, I could have actually also done that. I'm um, pretty sure. Yeah, I kind of wish you brought that up earlier, but now I'm I'm, I'm going to do it. Late. I'm just going to... Might point... as well do it now. I mean, I'm going to subtle want... spell. As you're mid-doing yeah, it, doing it you see a guy come from the back. He is a tiefling wearing a suit. Minor religion, yeah, that. Yeah. I, I will disguise the, the eggs as, like, so, little metal boxes. Like, I just thought of it, so I was like... So he kind of stands there, he watches you cast a spell, and he kind of just, like, wait, uh, patiently waits for you to finish what you're doing. I'm pretty sure it's just an action, right. so... And then, yeah, I'll turn around, and I'll just look at him and give him a smile. Because I assume the situation's right. been explained. Well, I'm so told you have a it. quite exotic request, something we're not used to handling, but... Yes. Yeah, Thank you for all taste here, so... What is it you're after? Just a room with enough space that a direwolf could comfortably sleep on the floor. I definitely be the bigger room. It'd need to be probably on the bottom floor because I don't imagine I want to imagine a direwolf trying to make it away his way upstairs. Not to mention disruption yeah, we... the cost for the gas. And you <laughs> can promise this is well behaved. It is well behaved. Yes, I will have to take a deposit well down in case it does anything to the rooms because we don't of normally. Course cater to animals here, but if you're willing to pay a deposit for it in case anything happens... Yes, of course. Then that will be fine, because it takes note of the fact you have six with three would have attacked us with a direwolf in the room if we went to the cheaper one? Yeah. But would the cheaper one have been able to support a direwolf getting in the building? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. never know. Right. We'll know tomorrow. We do have one big room that should be suitable for the direwolf. That said, though, that room will be ten gold pieces a night. How many That's people completely can stay fine. in one room? All right, take it. Here it has a pieces. large double bed inside it, so you just can figure that out amongst yourselves. So, I said, now, how many rooms there. do you need? Um, well, two people plus the direwolf can sleep in that big room. We have well, five I'm, more I'm people. I'm with the direwolf and my wolf. So, so. And is this? Are you looking for double beds or for single beds? Um, single would be best. Preferably single beds. Right, that's fine. Does this I'd be room okay. have a fireplace? Yeah. I'd be okay bunking up with our monk over here, but I get the feeling the rest kind of want individual rooms. I mean, I said we can't like, all this different point, types of Rio and I both sleep outside right next to each other whenever we're camping on the road. Mm -hmm. So I think our characters just would not give a shit about sleeping. Basically, this guy's clearly quite used to handling people with the idea of people that are hooking up together uh, coming in here. So it he's basically kind of very openly just asking, like, is it single or double bed you want? Mm -hmm. Um, single one one extra room with Which a double bed, cheaper. and then three. Yeah, but they're, about, cheaper, they're about the same price, unless you're looking for one of the fancy rooms with additional. About services. means there is cheaper version. So which is cheaper? Cheaper, right? Our standard rooms come at uh, four gold pieces a night per room stay so if you are fitting two people within two beds then it'll be four gold pieces for that room okay uh so i guess i'll i'll take a room with lex uh, with lexi uh gobby and nuggle can have a room then ah uh, you, you, you can have a room and point, Imbo... nuggle is like is that a good idea Imbo can sleep on his own. i don't is you it? just have nuggle is sleep with you guys too nuggle's small it's fine nuggle can actually that's also fine nuggle can come with us and and uh, uh, Gobby, Gobby can be an Arcanist like always, or oh, Evidemma. So is, R, is R, wait, where's R going then? So one, you, uh, you're getting this big room. This is going to cost ten gold pieces. Rooms, it's going to be the big fancy room. Yeah. I assumed yeah. R would be with the the, the with big the dog, and a, and a small dog. Yeah, and and his. So R is going in the big dog. room then, and after that you yeah. start taking yeah. what sounds like two rooms. I guess. Yeah, two yeah. rooms makes sense. Two rooms with the with the big oh, double go. beds, and we'll. We'll figure things out. Okay, yeah. that will be 18 gold for the night. Unless, uh, you just look, unless you're looking for any additional services, and for example, having drinks and such. Is, how much is the deposit that we need for the direwolf? 
Mm. <sighs> yeah. I'd say given the potential damage of the various things, I think about 200 gold pieces should cover it. Alright. But of and course, I you're receiving we'll be it able back. To... Okay, good. As long <laughs> as nothing is damaged, the rooms will be searched over in the morning. That's fine. I will hand 218 over to him because I know I'm getting that 200 back and 18 is nothing. And is there any additional things you'd require? For example, bringing food and drink and such. I know some people like to go up to the rooms and enjoy drinking on their own. I guess we should eat downstairs. Um, it's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just eat down here. Fair enough. That said, your diary will have to wait in its room. Or outside, but preferably is, not outside, yes. given that is, that's, it could scare away potential customers. I don't customers. think that's, that's, that's fair. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I'll then ask Ari to take the dial to his room. You should also bring him some food. He'll he'll be hungry. Who? <laughs> the dire wolf. Mm-hmm. I am buying. Go- I'm going to buy food too. So. Okay. Okay. So if you're getting food and drink for the night, it would cost about a gold piece per. All right, buying three gold drink combo. So. That includes also a gold piece for each dog. It'll be eight gold pieces for the dire wolf. And I'll get you all the, like, the food and drink to count as like a, oh, what would count as a Eight gold day. pieces? I'll pay for my own meal. Yeah, sure. So it depends on how many things you're buying for him. If you're buying for yourself, two dogs. Or no, uh, well, sorry, you're getting one dog plus one dire wolf. So you'd be ten yeah. gold pieces for that. Okay. Demon, okay. you would be uh, buying for yourself, two dogs. I assume Gobby. Yeah, I'll pay for Lexi too. You'd be four. Then, yeah, someone needs to buy for Lexi. Someone yeah, needs to figure out what's happening with Nuggle. Look, shut the. F- um, look, I, someone I'll, has to take responsibility. I'll, I'll ask. I'll ask Nuggle if she could hand me a single gold piece uh, from her pouch. She can't oh, stand here with a single, at least. I was actually <laughs> going to add, to tell you to do that. That's funny. I was just yeah, thinking I'll, about I'd, that. I'll ask for a single one while holding up like a one finger. She gets the idea of taking out one singular thing. Even though she can't count, she at least understands the idea of one thing. Just when you start mentioning things above that, she gets a bit more confused. Yeah, so she gives you her sing- the single gold piece for... Right. And then I'll use that to pay for her meal too. And with that, you're yeah. treated to... Well, you get your option of drinks where you just want water raised once. That's five gold pieces that's for me. Beverage. Easy. Yeah. You still have an option of drinks, okay. and you have an option of meals. They seem to have, like, cater to a bunch of different types of meats, and... Like meat veg, the various different things you might want for meal. It's basically a lot nicer than anything you'd have been having while out in the road. <laughs> nice. All the while they have various forms of entertainment, which uh, could switch from dancing to people like singing stuff, background, or people playing music, bards and stuff coming up. Various different types of things. It seems like they have a, like, a various different types of groups coming up to basically perform on I'll the have stage. You know, I'm a world-class chef on the road. Don't at me. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take the chef, mate. You're not a chef yet. <laughs> But if you take yes. the chefy, you become proficient with cooking utensils, and we'll talk. Yo. None hey, of you are proficient yo. at that, for all you all you've been having bland basic food this entire time. Hell yeah, brother. By comparison, oh, yeah. this stuff is much nicer, much better prepared. Much more spices to it. Prepared exactly however you asked for it, so. Sweet. Long as entertainment. Yeah. So is there anything people want to discuss or anything while they're at their tables together? Um, we can discuss well, with, well, probably wait till we... Probably wait till Ray gets in the room. Yeah, that kind of stuff. I yeah. I plan to head off after this rest, so we should probably like leave major discussions till the start of next session. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. You're off soon. Yeah, I'm getting tired. It's getting the tired. Getting tired of you. What the heck, Mo? Why would you do this? But okay. Well, uh, yeah, it's up to you guys if you want to uh, discuss this stuff, or yeah, you could just head up. And, yeah, yeah we're, gonna, just head we're up. gonna stop it here then. Which, yeah, in this case, you would notice, yeah, so the yeah. doors will go get various locks on them and such. It's a nicer place. In your there case, you have a very room. big room free to you. Is it uh, a nice space. Room? big room? It's a very nice looking room. It's like one of the fancier beds with like, you know, pokes with the uh, roof part on it. I want to try to examine my fucking hammer. Is there. Fireball. Okay. I'll examine it. Give us uh in this case I suppose because you're trying to look over a magical base thing. Give us an arcana check. All right. Mm-hmm. May you know, I have advantage on arcana checks because of my rune. That's fine. Okay. But it's our it's arcana. <laughs> it's a okay. arcana check. So. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. So Damn. you've never really thought about it before. And to be fair, you're not really so much an expert in how it's hammer's made. You don't know its origin and stuff. But now you've been given the hint of it. It is a bit odd that this hammer is always turned on. It blasts off its energy and then it has to recharge. But it stays on all the time. And that is weird because most magic items don't do that. Is that so I it? wonder if it's like burning out the majority of its energy most of the time because it's always on. Like There's a possibility the on, this thing should be stabilized to have more controlled okay. hits. So more control hit, that would mean I decide which hit more I want to do splash. Possibly, or it means you could turn it off so not every hit has to start that way. Much like you saw the, uh, the it, it can really bring you to the idea of the uh, the Frost Sword that you saw War and the yeah. Paladin have. Yeah. Where he activated it and it started giving off an aura of mist. And then every strike he did after that dealt damage. Oh, you bitch. Okay. In your That's one's it case, it only does it for one hit. So that's it for today. We're gonna leave. basically the inkling you'd have is you really need to speak to someone that's an expert in weaponry and or magic enchantments and try and figure out what could be wrong with this hammer. Yep, I see, I see. All right, well, she did point us in a direction where I should go. So there you go then, right. dwarven craftsman. So basically, dwarven we craft. find your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's bad. All right, my brother is. Was it this out? I forgot. Yeah, so, like, you said a bunch of reasons to come up here. Like, you know, there's the whole coming up here for work thing, because it's next stop on the road. Yeah, it was and then, yeah, thing. in ours case, because he heard his brother worked here a while back. So there's that. There's Do the whole thing with slave traders called, being even? here. Um, Do I don't know what he's called? I don't know. We I just, don't think we know his brother. name. All right. <laughs> you definitely know bits, because you saw our go out of his way to steal a book. Yeah. Talking about him. Yeah. Yeah. And the guy shares a, si a similar last name to R, so... Well, obviously. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few hints in there. Like, I'm pretty sure he said he's looking for him before. Yeah, we, we know he's looking for his brother. Yeah. but He's they told us that they much. They know the name of the brother. Um, outside the bookstore, because, like, in the bookstore, we kind of just we have a fucking <laughs> did what he needed without question, and then as soon as we got out, we were like, okay, you need to explain to us what the fuck just happened. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you yeah, have it. some, like, you know, personal story-based stuff some of these could be looking for. It's just some of these have just kind of been ignoring it, so, you know, it's up to you, so... I can't make this I've story I've ignored nothing. Yeah, like, part of, part of the reason why Ryu wanted to come here was that there was, like, the big monastery... There's another monastery the nearby here. here. It doesn't appear to be in town, though. The temple yeah, part of the reason why Red mm. wants to come here is, imagine, I, Red just wants to go anywhere to look for whoever... It has mm -hmm. the similar eyes and some such. To be, That's to be fair... Well, calm down, Karapika. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> to be... Whoa. Man, just like... I imagine that's the bot. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's the bot. To you be fair, I'm also waiting older? for certain, certain scenarios nah. to, to, what the to fuck? ask people I, things. I muted the bot a while oh, ago, wow. but I unmuted it when I when I heard that it, it joined. A, it was a good song on it. It was nice. Yeah, it, it was good, like, general... Walking Your music ball get muted months ago for me because I don't trust anything. Yeah I, yeah, I just no, I mean I it's YouTube music, so I just put on fucking non uh, copyrighted music. <laughs> it was a <laughs> nice vibe. I was thinking about it, genius. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't hear any of that. Yeah, I just have a ring usage. If that's it, but yeah, but yeah. I'm out. so, so uh, wait, um, next wait, session wait, thing. Guys. Aaron, that said he's busy tomorrow. Demon, when is it yeah. your next off work? Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I yeah, am I am doing my guard duty, Wednesday till Wednesday. So, so yeah. no, Tuesday you on Tuesday, if but yes, potentially possibly. at five. Potentially at the same time as today. Potential for Tuesday. It's yeah. potential Tuesday because yeah, Good. it, it will be gone for a week after that, and then demons are yeah. uh, busy in the weekend anyway. So, yep, do we that Tuesday well. it is. Hey, okay, Jay-Z is probably our most likely thing. In that case, I'm just going to say thanks to people who did any bits and that. Oh, you're welcome, man. Bye. Go from there. You guys are free to leave. I'll catch you <laughs> next time guy. for more yeah. animal handling. Uh, Goodbye. Well, See you well, yeah, next time. Is live. <laughs>